It'll only take a five minutes. It ain't about all day huh? Just get on top, do your thing, and take a shower. Do you guys have rough sex? Sometimes. Describe your version of rough. You want to really hear this? Yeah, it's kind of important. Alright, hitting it from the back. You know, um, that's really it. So, okay, so then you buried your phone after you came back and got it and you left, right? Yeah, yeah, 15 yeah. minutes, yeah, we yeah. Did, we, so you think they unburied it? <laughs> it's always moving around. Okay, and like, then reburied it so that yeah. you could get it later. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. but you take the phone. Take the phone. And you go bury it. Bury it. And you go to John's house. John's house. And you stay there for the rest of the night. The rest of the night. <laughs> and at some point, when the officers came to your house and they called that number, they talked to somebody on that phone. It wasn't you? It wasn't me. How is that possible? It wasn't. They talked to somebody on that phone who was in your house. It wasn't me. But she's just so tender. She's so tender-headed. She, she bruised easily. Even when we have sex, she bruised. So I know that she, if they got into a fight, it don't look cute. Where does she bruise when you have sex? As a man, I just gotta, I don't know what's next with this. Here's what I can tell you. I'll, I'll say this, and I don't know where my partner stands on this. I don't believe you. 911, what's emergency? Hi, good day. I'm calling to report a uh, abusive situation. Okay, where at? Um, I'm not sure about my location right now. I'm not sure if you could talk it. But my... What's that? Evil Creek Parkway behind the gas station. So what gas station? Circle K? Yes, yeah, Circle yeah, okay. K. What's going on? Well, my husband was beating me a lot and he took me to the store and I ran out and somebody helped me. Some call and now so the police will come get me. Okay, did he get, so they can get me. Okay, listen to me. Did mm -hmm. he get physical with you? Yeah, very physical. My entire face is very physical. Punch me in the tummy, my back, my face. Where is he at now? Uh, he was at the at previous gas station. Is he inside the gas station? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, QT, but I ran away, so he's probably looking for me right now. Okay, you ran away from QT? Yeah, I ran away. Like, somebody was there and I asked them to help me and I got in the car, so I'm calling you all now. Okay, did you run away from QT or did you want to run away from Circle K? I ran away from QT and now I'm at Circle K. And you got a ride to Circle K? Correct. Okay, do you need any medical attention? I'm not sure yet. Like, when you, you come, come, come get me, please. Yeah, we have officers on the way. Do you need medical attention? Do you need somebody to come check you out? Are you injured? Yes, please. Okay, and do you have injuries to your face? Yes, I do. Okay, and he's still at QT? I'm not sure. Is that the last place you saw them? Him? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. And where in the circle K are you? Um, in the box of the mini truck. What kind of truck are you in? What kind of truck are you in? A triple A truck. Okay, do you know if your husband has any weapons with him? No, but he did pull a knife for me and I had to beg him to not stop, stop me. Oh, he did have a knife? He had a knife in the house. In the house? Mm -hmm. Do you know if he brought it with him? Oh, uh, no. He didn't bring it with him. I'm saying the cops right now. Okay, you see them? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, go ahead and talk to them, okay? Okay. So you want those blue chairs? No, no, no. No, no blue chairs. Yeah. Alright. Long night? Yeah. Alright. I think he brought a water for you, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just so strange, you know. Yeah. Wearing masks these days is so strange. Yeah. And with me having a little baby at home, it's kind of. That's great. You know. So I don't want to hold you too long. I just want you to know exactly the situation. Oh my God. So, because we're in a police facility, like I mentioned to you before, and, yeah. you know, you've seen television. When you're in yeah. these type of environments, I have to advise you if you rise before we get into it. 
me answering your question, so I'm going to go ahead and read it, your rights, okay? Mm -hmm. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney, to assist you prior to and during questioning, to be with you during questioning if you so desire. If you cannot afford an attorney, you have the right to have an attorney appointed for you prior to questioning. Do you understand your rights? Yes. Um, just to update your your address, I notice you have a, a Illinois license. Yeah. So is that uh, you purchased a home? Or what's yes. going? You, you did. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a local license? No, it's uh, just a just a Illinois license. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, make sure you update your your license to your current address. Okay. Do you have any ID with this current address on you? No, sorry. No, not yet. No. How long have you been living there? Uh, probably six months. Okay. Uh -huh. State law here in Arizona, once you change your address, you have to update your address. I believe it's within 10 days, but I could look that up for you. Or else it could be cited. Okay. Yeah. And one of the reasons why they do that, for example, if we're trying to get in touch with you, we're going to send the correspondence to the known address right. and you right. no longer live there. Do you have family yeah. members living here? Or? No. They just moved. I actually got pulled over and they never Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so again, um, do you know why you're here? Yes. So Candace is my best friend. She lives with me. Uh, she goes through things, you know, some mental issues, emotional issues, and I look over. Her. Sometimes I, I say she can stay in the house. Sometimes she goes to her friend Laura's house, and she stays in Phoenix. So she's been staying with me for a while. Um, she tried to commit suicide twice. And we have an open relationship as well, so she, you know I, I allow her to have like a like a boyfriend because I'm really busy. So Mark, the guy that she I allow her to talk to because she allows me to talk to other girls. Um, you know, I guess they got into an argument or whatever. I was at my friend's house playing football, and then I get a call that his cops outside of my house, and I'm like, oh my, this is not going to work. This, this open relationship can't work then. It's a couple of days prior, she was trying to kill herself. You know, you know, a girl texted my phone and she's like, I thought you wasn't gonna text me with girls and blah, blah, blah. And I videotaped her, she had a, you know, sharp scissors and she was about to kill herself. And she had about two episodes this week. And I think, uh, you know, the first time she had the scissors, I had to grab the scissors from her. So she, you know, she had a bruise on her leg. That's all that, you know, from the situation when I took the scissors, that's all she had was a bruise. She might have bit her lip, her lip was busted, and that was it. So those, she had injuries for about, she had new old injuries for about like two to three days. Here you go, sir. So today she's been with Mark, and I've been with my friends. I don't know what they got into. When I got back, it uh, was okay. I'm trying to. I don't need to. I don't. I don't. But I'm trying. I'm trying to understand because. Um, but you gave him a, a different bottle. Yeah. You didn't open this. Uh -huh. oh, okay. I'm trying to understand the big picture here, and mm -hmm. like I said, I don't know who all are involved. You know, but you're mentioning some other folks. Yeah. You're mentioning Mark. Yeah. So let me see if I understand this. Yeah. Um, what's 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 the um, young lady's name? Candice. Spell that. C A N D I C. So let me see if I, I and just to bring my partner to speak. Um, so you're saying Candice is your friend? Best friend. Your best friend. Mm -hmm. um, are you married? Yeah. In a in a, in a way. In a lawfully way. married? Like we didn't go down to to the uh, we didn't go down to how. We just got legally married in Miami. So you are, so you are married. We legally married. Yeah. You're legally married. Okay. So it's your wife. Yeah. Okay. Like marriage. Well, not can't say that. We young. <laughs> you like that's my girl. Right. Yeah. But you have a marriage certificate with her. Uh, I don't have it. You got one at some point. No. So legally, you're not married. Maybe not. Okay. But. Okay. I, it doesn't matter. I'm just okay. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. and we're we're just trying to understand the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so um, 
But you mentioned that you both have an open relationship. Explain that. We have an open relationship. She allows me to talk to other girls. You know, it's girls that we want to talk to me. She say, you know, you can talk to them. And I say, okay, you meet somebody. If I trust them and I meet them, you can talk to him. So she's been talking to this guy named Mark. And I don't know what happened tonight, but I know a couple of days prior she had a bruise on her leg. She bit her lip because she was trying to kill herself. That I videotaped her on my phone. My phone's dead, but one of you guys got it. I, I uh, you know, I, I wanted to show you that. And then after right. that, uh, tonight was just, I got calls from my friends. Say, it's cops outside your house. I thought about not coming to the house. But I was like, it's my house. Why? You know, so just, I just showed up and tried to tell them what went on. So you guys already go through? Yeah. Okay. So you, um, so you're saying Mark was at the house? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mark lived in that area? I'm not sure. So she would know where Mark lives. Is that right? She, she, she would, she would know, she would be able to tell us who Mark what is. She, what would she, what, I, I don't know why, okay, I don't know why I'm here. So I'm saying like, what was she saying? What did she say to you guys? Well, I haven't spoken to her and that's why I'm oh, trying okay. to talk to you. Did she, did she go to the hospital and say, uh, Brashear Gray, my husband, I don't think she did that. I think she went to the hospital. Well, the information that I have is somewhat limited, but I was told yeah. that she's your wife this, this, so that's what i'm trying to clarify this, this is what happened it, no, it's like this is my t-shirt yeah but that's not my crime you know i think she she i don't want to get her in trouble because i don't want to get her deported she doesn't have a green card and that's my best friend so okay. whatever our relationship is it's my fault why it even happened so okay. that's kind of why you know but she, what she would say is she needs to get treatment. So whoever asked her that question, who did that to you? She, I don't know what she said, okay. um, but that guy doesn't have a phone. You know, he just shows up. You know, she, she hits him up on IG, Instagram. He comes over, that's it. The smart person? Smart person. Yeah. Have you ever met Mark? I met him about twice. What does he look like? Brown skin, he like mixed, mixed with white a little bit, black. More so black. Um, I've never met you before. You have never met me before. No, no, no. But never. one of the things I, I give credit never. to individuals who are honest. Yes, sir. You know, and I'm not trying to judge you in any way, but yeah. then it's if I had to make judgment of who you are, it's going to be based based on my interactions with you. Okay. Okay. Right. But I, I haven't ate either. So my body, my head connected to the body. Right. This is only one head. I'm trying to have a baby. There's a lot going on inter internally. So it's just, you know, okay. I know you're trying, to, you're trying to eat through it. You're sharking through. But I'm just letting you know what really happened. And, uh, you know, I have I, I, I have a career. I'm an artist. I have a lot of things to lose. Right. to be putting myself in situations like that. I would separate myself before we fight. We have plenty of arguments, you know, uh, verbal. And I talked to her mom on the phone. Her mom was saying, uh, you know, just talk to the cops. I was like, well, you know, George Floyd, and you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to go back to the house because what if they put a knee and arrest me? And, but it wasn't like that. Right. So well, mom, that's good. her mom was like, she loves you. Whatever she's going through, I just need to fix it, stop the arguments, and that's it. But I believe she, Whatever happened that night with Mark, she needed to get treatment. She didn't want to tell me. She didn't want to talk to me about it. She just went somewhere and that, she's from Trinidad. So she really don't speak clear English. So you really don't understand her sometimes. So it's like, uh, she could say something. You'd be like, huh? Uh, hospital? Okay, hospital. You take her to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, uh, who, who did this? Mm -hmm. Who did this? Somebody screaming at her. Who did this? And you know, I don't know what she said to because she doesn't want to get in trouble. So she feel like I I can save her. Just which so I, I understand. Which I, can, which just, I will. Just so I understand. Which I, I know I I missed some. So forgive me. No, you was here the whole time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. So this thing with Mark happened what night? To the last night. Last night. Okay. And it, I'm to understand that you were involved in any incident situation she got into last night no 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 she we were all good she cooked let me tell you she cooked uh 
chicken, rice, and mashed potatoes. I ate twice, two plates of that. Okay, what time was this ish? This was about two o'clock, four, and didn't brown four. She like, let's have sex. So like, around what time? Four o'clock. In the evening? Evening. She's okay. like, you know, I'm in the pool. She's like, let's have sex. I'm like, okay. Let me, uh, Who else was know, at the let house? me get in the shower, blah, blah, blah. I gotta take a poop. Okay. And we had sex. Went to my friend's house. Then she called Mark over. He didn't see something he liked. That's why I got that F1 Savannah cat in there. But he's still a kitten. And I don't know what happened. Okay. So I want to make sure I understand you. Because in your in your mind, it's landing, it's making sense. I, I wasn't there, so I just want to make sure I'm clear. I don't want to misunderstand you. Right. So you guys, around 2 or 4, ate dinner. She wanted to have sex. Okay. Who else was at the house with you two? Just us two, maybe... But a friend popped in just to give me some CBD and left, left right up. One of your friends or her friends? My friends. Okay, just like he showed up for a second and left? Yeah. What time was this ish? Right before I left, like 4.35. Okay. And then you left the house. Mm -hmm. You guys had sex. Mm -hmm. You left the house. Yeah. Um, and you went to a friend's house. Yeah. With uh, um, Did you walk to a friend's house? Drives? I walked. I walked like to the park with a the theater, the uh, school right there. Around there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to disclose his location, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. And then you were there with your friend. Did you guys go anywhere? Or did you stay at his house? I kind of just passed out at his house, and then once like five o'clock, my phone was dead. We would start working out. Five o'clock yesterday evening. Morning. Five o'clock this morning. Five o'clock this morning. Uh, my phone was dead, and I was just uh, what was I doing? We start playing football. Okay. Start playing catch, you know, running around, and my phone turned on. They like cops at your house, cops at your house. What happened? What happened? I'm like, oh Who was that from? Neighbors. Okay. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I didn't call anybody. You guys, I didn't call my mom. Nobody. Okay. I just handled it on my own and say, whatever, whatever it is, I need to stop. Okay. The relationship like that. Okay. So. You left around, you, I think you said it, probably around 4.30 or something from your house, where we were, mm -hmm. that same house, okay? 4.30 p.m. About 4.30 p.m. And you left your friend's house, and then you said you took your phone because you were getting text messages. How many phones do you have? Uh, one, and she has one, but she left that phone, I guess. Okay, so you took your phone. Is that the one that the officer, when you walked up to the house you had and, and that we have, you yeah, said? Yeah. Okay. Where I had a video of her like this in the living room. She got a, uh, scissors. She's just like this. I'm like, don't do it. It's not that serious. We love each other. And okay. She dropped it once I had to tussle with her. But Okay. So I, I want to make, I want to clear the air so you understand. Um, we're not here to to say what you did or didn't do. Um, our our goal and our only goal is to find out what, what happened. Whether that is you know, truthful from what you're telling us or truthful from what she's saying or Mark or whoever else. That's our goal is just to find out what happened, right? Right. Um, so we're gonna do our best to line this out chronologically, like then this, then this, then this, and see kind of how the night went on. Um, but just like you, I'm sure you hear something, if it doesn't make sense in your head, you're going to say, if it doesn't make sense in my head, it's probably because it doesn't make sense. Right, that's what I'm throwing up in the car, because I'm like, sure. everybody throws up when they don't have clarity about what's going on. It's just like, what the heck? Okay. Um, yeah, and that's all we're that's all we're going to do, and we're going to do it with, we're going to treat you with respect and everything, but we need to make sure everything works out. It lines up and makes sense. Otherwise, I, we can only assume yeah, right. that something's yeah that, that something's not making sense and somebody's not telling us the truth, right? I I, well, I believe it. She's from Trinidad. So mm -hmm. anybody, if she's really beating anybody, looking at that is like because she's this is U.S. They're gonna be like, what the hell? What happened to you? And she's just like, my husband or my boyfriend. I, I she's hurt, you know. So she's trying to talk and she's trying to communicate so you think she told us that you did all that to her no no okay i don't know how it steered back to me i don't know how because i don't believe that she would say that her mom okay i don't believe that okay all right so as detective hurtenstein was telling you that mm -hmm. we need to chronologically laid out meaning time-wise make sure everything that makes sense right 
And you know, her mom is a she seen the video. She didn't want the cops to know about it because she didn't want her daughter to get sent away. Because okay. I try to keep that video away. I didn't call the cops. Okay. That happened like a couple days ago. Okay. I didn't call the cops on it because I didn't want her to go to a place. So so let me ask you this. Um, you went to your friend's house. Mm -hmm. What's that friend's name again? John. John. Your your friend's house that lives in where does that person live in Australia next to the school you said Australia. Yeah. His name is John. Yeah. Okay. And you were at John's house. You guys played football. Yeah. Right. And then someone called you and told you that police were at your house. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. Who called you? Neighbors text just like text messages. And neighbors. Do you have that name saved anywhere? No. How are you? What was your neighbor? Next door neighbor. I got a number one time for a battery for my golf cart. Okay. And she was saying the cops are outside. Okay. And I called her, she was like, a lot of cops outside. I think they going through the house. And that's what made me like, oh my God, I got a Savannah cat. If the Savannah cat run out the front door, I lost out on 15K. Right. Um, so, you mentioned that while you were at your friend's house, you got mm -hmm. this call, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But you also told us that you had a scuffle. Yes, a couple prior, a couple days prior to that, she we she tried to kill herself. Okay, but you said you tell me tell me about that. Yeah. So this she always she always that's what I said she has like mental issues like with girls texting me. We have an open relationship. Mm -hmm. A chick texts me on the phone. She might say yes. I want to get that B. I want to get that. She I might delete it and she still see it somehow. And then she starts, you know, I thought you would stop cheating on me. I'm like, babe, I didn't even respond. I just looked at it like I'm a man. I'm a, I'm, I'm able. I should be able to watch porn, or I should be able to text a chick and not want to meet up with her. I'm a man. Let me be a man. Let me grow gracefully. So she was just really into it that day. Her heart tried to grab it. She was almost about to stab herself because she's pregnant. I'm like, no, no, no. So I'm trying to tussle with her so we both don't get stabbed. And um, when was that tussle? That was about, what's the day? Uh, Tuesday? Was the 13th, yeah. That okay. was Friday. Okay. Friday and Saturday she did that. And you have videos on your phone of that, you said? Or was I have a video of it on front, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was Friday. How was your guys' weekend? It was good. I mean, it was okay. You spent the weekend together? Well, yeah, I've been, I've been like, every day trying to make sure we got a good connection. So you were home Saturday? I was home Saturday. Okay. I yeah. was home Friday, I was home Saturday. Uh -huh. Yesterday was Sunday. Mm -hmm. I wasn't home Sunday after 5.30. Like because you were at your yeah. friend's house? Yeah. And then you showed up, what time at this house today? Today? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. You're not sure? My phone died, so I just was like, let me just, what time is it now? Uh, 845 or so I say we've been doing this deal for about since 637 ish so you have eight you have videos in your phone of her trying to hurt herself and you trying to stop her from yeah. hurting herself okay yes. can we is it okay with you if we look at those videos uh yes I have to show you where it's at I have to sh show you the video okay yeah sir um and that video was from Friday yes you have no new recordings on there I don't have, but that's her behavior. You you see it and you don't see any bruises on her. You see a beautiful girl that don't have any bruises on her. That's, you know, that's her behavior. Very recent. But so that's not something for me to like, try to get her in a place or anything like that. Whatever happened with this guy. What's his name again? Mark. Whatever happened with this guy, she just went to the hospital. She needed the treatment. She don't have any insurance, she don't have any ID. She don't even have a green card. How do you know Mark came over to the house? Um, I had a feeling. I had a feeling she said, you know, she might, you know, have him come over. Okay. Something like that. So I, I want to tell you what, what's going to happen on our side, what we're going to do. Because we have to, we can listen to everyone talk, but we have to confirm for ourselves. We have to take steps to make sure that we're getting truthful information. Yeah. Right? So, well, I, I videotaped it to make sure you guys, if anything, that's why I videotaped it. I was like, this is behavior not from a girl that I said I do. 
I need to videotape you what's going on in the world. I'm not gonna call my mom, I'm not gonna call my manager. Let me videotape it myself so I can show y'all her behavior and then you'll see exactly in okay. the video. And that's fair and I'm not here to call you a liar. I, I, I get that. Yeah. Some of the things we do, we do a lot, right? We don't this usually takes takes time for us to, to do this, but one cell phone information. Okay, so we, we have your cell phone, but one of the things we do is we go through, where was this cell phone at this time? Where did they go from there? Mm -hmm. Right, because cell phones nowadays, you could see where they went. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So in that case, we should see your phone go from your house to your friend's house, pretty much there until whatever time this morning, back yeah. over to your house, right? Uh, Sure, yeah, but this, we have two phones. The second phone was left in the house. Well, I'm just talking about the phone you had. Oh, the phone I had, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, uh, even if it's dead? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. But well, you were also getting text messages this morning from your neighbors, so. Yeah, but um, that phone just has the video. That's fine. That's not the phone. That That's fine. No, I'm just yeah. talking about seeing where it is, the location. Oh, no, no, yeah. That Tracking phone. the location. Yeah, yeah, no, that phone is like, you know, it's kind of like a, I'll be honest, it's a, a cheap phone, so I didn't take that with me to John's house at all. Oh, which phone did you take? I kind of, I hide this phone under the mailbox, like under the, like, neighborhood. So you didn't take it to John's house? No, did you take it. any phone? No. How, how did you get text message from your neighbor while you're at John's house? She texts John. Listen to me. We can have a good conversation. Maybe there's an explanation no, for things. Listen, we hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just listen for just a moment. Just listen. He never said what phone it was. Okay, just listen. He just said text message. I'm I hear you. To your brain. you just, I know, no, no, I know, I know, I know. Just listen. I'm not disrespecting. Listen, listen, I know, and I won't disrespect you either. You but have I, a career, we have a career too. I know. You're I know. good at what you do, whatever you do. I'm we're also capable. I'm okay, artist. we're also listen. very capable of doing what we do too. Okay. I'm trying to have a baby. And, and and I I'm going to treat you with respect also. I, you've given me no reason to disrespect you, and I'm not going to. Yes, sir. But I I can tell you that yes. the truth will be known. It's not the first day we we the two of us have, have been here. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I understand. That. I'm telling you. But I'm trying to have a baby, sir. Okay. This is I don't I don't think that way. Okay. I, don't, I don't process things. I process my food. I'm nice to my wife. I guess I don't understand what you mean. What I mean by that is that I don't live in that regular world space. You know what I mean? I, me and my wife, we pray together. We don't even use a phone. We hardly use a phone. I hardly talk to my mom. That's that's fine. All I all we've asked you so, okay. is is what happened physically with physically. you. But you didn't say what phone I use or nothing. You saying okay, we can use the phone. Yeah, I did. I said the phone that the yeah. officer has that you walked up to your house with in no, your that's, pocket. That's not the phone. That that's not the phone. No, you sir. Had. I have got texts from John. John, they text me because I don't like anything that's people texting. I feel like that's cancerous. What are we texting about? So well, I don't want to hear the reasoning. Right, right. What phone did you have at John's house? I didn't have a phone. You didn't I have left, a phone. I left that phone in the neighborhood. So what phone did you walk back to your house with when we when our officers back. contacted I you? I didn't walk back with a phone. You didn't have a phone with you. No. So where did that officer get that phone? I gave it to him once I I received it. I hide, I hide the phone. Where? Um, I don't know which street that's on, but I hide the phone on the street, and I bury it because it's like it's energy. And I don't, I'm actually trying to escape from using that energy with other females. So I'm going to take it to John's house and throw it in a room somewhere where you're not going to be around it. <laughs> no, Why because, are you it? because I, need to be, I need to be focused on what me and John doing. Me and John playing football. Me and John, we working on our hearts. We working on our health. It's not for me to bring that energy to his house. Because I can get, you know, we could get probably get into a, you know, an argument. Or, you know, he talking about his girl. I'm talking about my girl. We just dare to be friends and boys. That's all. So, that's all. But I understand what you're saying. I respect what you guys well, do. Well, in, in, a, in, really a, do. in a per, and I appreciate that. And in a person's mind, in any person, uh, officer, anyone, an actor, uh, uh, artist, I'm done with acting. An artist, you, I you apologize. Um, <laughs> anybody, anybody in the world, any reasonable person, if something in their head's not making sense, it does that doesn't make sense, that doesn't line up. Well, you just told me that. You just told me this. 
Okay, there's an explanation. Yeah, things just don't line up. I just wanted you. It to just means it don't it don't line up, man. Well, I just really wanted you to know about our open relationship. I get it. I was not there, and that's not my business. Well, yeah, you know, I was not there from about you know from five thirty. We have an open relationship. I'm able to talk to other girls. She's able to talk to other guys, and this guy Mark came over, and like I said, the phone was in the neighborhood. That's where it stays. Um. I went to John House, came back. Uh, you know, when I came back, hey, did I didn't, you call I didn't the come police straight. I didn't, I, I didn't come straight. No, I didn't come straight back home. I parlayed on my phone for a little bit, and then I came home, and then my phone died. I parlayed on the phone for a little bit, you know, to see if she called me or anything of that nature, and then. That was the phone that I videotaped her, so I had to take that back to the house because I said, I, ca I cannot walk back to this house without no videotape. I could have went to Phoenix if I was trying to hide from you guys. I could have told John to take me to Phoenix. I had my lawyer send me. Why did you bring you the phone with the videotape? Because it's my home. I don't like anything, and it's just this is my wife, you know? I don't like these type of situations. I feel like as men, if, you know, there's a problem in your household and you have nothing to hide from, then show up. Or run, go to Phoenix. Don't tell nobody you're in Phoenix, and send the video. Have your lawyer handle it. But I felt like you guys will understand me and listen to me. Uh, we are listening. I'm willing to. And I, that's that's all. The phone was in the neighborhood, so that's it with the phone. I'm willing to, and I I still want to, and we're having a good conversation. But, yeah. But you're talking in circles, man. You're talking about things that don't make sense, that don't add up. What, the open relationship? No, no, no. I'm okay with that. I okay. mean, that's your business. Okay. Okay. You know, I wouldn't tell you that's okay or not okay. okay. I'm talking about, you know, you went Barry to... the phone? You, well, that's one of the things. You went to John's... I, to. I know, but we already. you already told me you had your phone there at John's house. I asked you if, it, if you took your phone, how many phones you had. You told I'm me just one phone. Yeah, because I'm looking at you, and I'm realizing that you're a person just like me. You know, well, conveniently so, you say, after I told right. you we were gonna find the location, of the phone. No, 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 no. I'm realizing. You gotta see what no, I'm, no, no, how I'm I, seeing. I, it. I know because I, I'm, I'm de I deal with different type of IQs and stuff like that. So when you ask me a question, I visualize that I did have a phone in hand to text my neighbor. My neighbor texts John. We're all in the same community, so I did have a phone. So when I look at you, I see a man. When you ask me, did you have a phone? I didn't get the chance to just breathe. I said yes. I okay. had a phone, but I okay. didn't. I should have told you. That's that's what I should have did. I should have just broke it up. But you was asking so many questions, back to back, back to back, and I'm just trying to answer them right. So what I'm saying to you is, okay. Phone. So let's start over. Okay. I know. I, I could feel you want to be honest. Are you a bit nervous at all right now? I got asthma. asthma. You got asthma. That's all. Okay. And I'm thinking, trying to process food. So we process food as well. Yeah. Again, we're just trying to clarify the information here. Do you have a phone number for John? No. You don't have a phone number for John. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you can get it from your neighbor, right? Uh. We're trying to we're trying to figure out the situation. You need to help us yeah. verify I don't have what you number on John. Verify what you're telling but us. But your neighbor does. She has a number on there for John. Yeah, she does. She yeah, she does. She does. She does. So if we get that phone, you you would be able to um, get that number for us. Sure. John's I'll, number. I'll, right. Sure. Yeah, she, Who does John live with? He lives with his parents. How old is John? He's about. He just nineteen. Nineteen lives with his parents. You know the address? No, but Estrella, around that area. Okay, so if I should show you a map on GPS from your house, you should be able to tell me exactly what house John lives in. Nah, it's dark. I don't know. I'm, I just dark? moved out here. See, I'm from Chicago. When it, yeah, but you walked there, and you walked home. I did, I did walk, but you know the sun starts setting around like 5 or 6. How many times have you been to John's house? This is probably my second time. I don't even know this neighborhood like that. And when it gets dark, it starts to look different. As soon as the sun goes down, it starts looking different to me. So you're not able to tell me, give me John's number. Yeah, I don't have his number. I just met him. You just where, where did he meet John? I met him going to a CBD store, leaving out the CBD store. Um, he was like, "Yo, you should try this CBD." I was like, "Yeah, cool." He's like, "Yo, we playing football at the park at this time. If you want to come through?" I said, "Oh, this is cool. I like friends like that, you know." So I met him at the park. 
we walk around his block to his house. I don't know where I was at, but so th you met him. You only been to his house twice, like, like twice. Twice you said, right? And today was, or yesterday was the second time. What's yeah. John's last name? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Him you don't that. know. Okay. Yeah. Um, when was the first time you went to his house? How long ago was that? Uh, maybe like Monday. Like I just met him. When? It's Monday. It's like just me. A week ago? Yeah. Because today is Monday. Yeah, like a week ago. And today was the second time you went. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been back over there. What was the first experience like when you went to John's house last Monday? What did you guys do? Uh, we smoked some CBD. We had a beer. Some of the ASU kids came over to play football. We played football. We worked out. Um, and that was it. That was really it. Do you consider him what you trust him? I don't trust him. He's kind of like he said he was like a fan of what I do. I was like, you know, but like do you it. trust him? I don't trust him. No, you don't. I don't trust anybody. Okay, yeah. but you went to his house and passed out. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, definitely. Stop right there. Definitely. Man. definitely. Stop right there, man. Definitely. I felt comfortable, really. No, 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 no. You need to stop this. What you're doing, right? No. I, I've I, seen um, detective talk to you, right? I felt Ernestine comfortable. talk to you, right? So, and I'm just paying attention to you, and I'm listening to your argument. I'm listening to your conversation. It's not an argument. I'm listening it's to your argument. information that you're providing to us. It's not an argument, right? If I don't trust, every time we try to verify, health, health is health. Every I'm time we try to verify what you're trying, what you're telling us, you have. You've been changing the story every single That's time. That's life. You go to QT, do you know who's going to be at that QT gas station? Do you know how many people are going to be at that QT? If you go to Walmart, do you Mr. know who's going to... No, Mr. I'm asking Ray. you a real life question. We're real life black people. We're black, right? We're, we're, one, we're African American. That's number one. So if he's African American, and he's is? positive, John is. Okay. So we're African American. Let's not forget that. So okay. once we go into stores, and we go to Walmart, and we go to Target, we don't know who's going to attack us. Okay. We're just being positive civilians. Okay. Always. That's once you take that mask off and you go you go somewhere, baby RS for your daughter, you have to you have, you have to be focused. You don't know what your brain is doing. All you want to do is just be good at what you do. So I'm saying I didn't trust him, but I felt that you know his parents are there, they gave us food. I just passed out. I passed out. I knew, and I knew when I woke up, I'm like, she's gonna be mad at me. She's gonna be extremely mad. So after that, the cops. Oh, wait, wait, the wait. So for, uh, we'll go with we'll go with that. the cops. The cops what, about are what, at your door. Hold on, hold on, hold on. About me. I want to make sure I understand your story. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to tell you your story. On, so what's the first thing you did when you wake up? You know what time it was? About when you woke up? What do you mean? When you woke up at John's house. Oh, so I woke what time up. Is it? Uh, I'm about, uh, wake up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We wake up. Look at John. He playing Fortnite. Whatever he playing. You like, yo, you want to go work out? Yeah, I'm like, come on then. What time was it? About. Like around, you know, 5 in the morning, 5.30. Okay. And we had Estrella. We're playing football until like 6 or 7, and he gets a text. He's saying, there are cops at your house. But they're te they texting me through his phone. He's like, your neighbors are texting me saying that there are cops at the house. I don't know none of the neighbors like that. They know I'm in the neighborhood. I just don't know them like that. And that's kind of what happened. That's all that happened. Okay. So when you woke up, you said you were kind of like, is she going to be mad? Yeah, I, I knew. Because she's like, where was you at last night? Okay. I knew she's going to be like that. So I'm, okay. First, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm like, you know what? Let me just play football again and good vibe. Because then I can bring that back home. You know, we work out. You know, as men, man, we work out. We sweat. We look good. We take that back home to our woman. It don't matter what we did. We just, it's good after that. That's That was really it. That was really it. Okay. I don't have John number, none of that. He would call me from a black number, cause I don't have. So where did you meet John? My phone is where it's like I don't allow people to call me. I turn it off. Where'd you it's meet John? Forty. Where did you meet him? I just called Forty. I don't allow people to call. Got it. Where did you meet John? CBD store. Where's that? Ish. CBD store is right there near Walmart. It's like near Happy Cats and Vape. Tell me about the first time you met John. I walked out the store, he was walking in, he's like, yo, bro, he looked at me, he seen health, he seen happiness, he was like, yo, man, what's up? He's like, yo, you should try this. It's like, you a football player or something? He's like, yeah. You know, I think I had Candace in the car. And um, uh, he was like, you know what, you should come work out with us. And that was it. And then where, what happened that day when you first met him? Uh, nothing really. 
and then I, you know. So you met him at the CBD store, and then you guys parted ways. We parted ways, and we, I, I linked up with him on Monday. I gave him my number. Um, he, he gave you your number. Yeah, he called me from a block number. He called you from a block number. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what did he say? He said, "Yo, we about to go play football. We about to go do this. We about to go do that." I said, "All right, cool." He said, "All right, cool." I said, "Let me eat some food first. Let me put some food in my stomach. Let my head process. It's only one. It's on one head." It's only gonna process muscles and arms and legs. And that was on Monday. Only do so much, huh? That was on Monday. No, that was uh, about that weekend. I met him that weekend. Okay. We linked up Monday. Okay. And then to what the phone? Night, what phone did he call? He called from. What phone did he call from? So he called from that phone. The that, phone you the have. The burn phone that I buried. So I buried. I the leave, phone that we have now. Yes, sir. Okay. So okay. I leave that phone in the area. I meet him at Estrella. I see him. We start playing. Okay. That's it. Okay. I come back, you know, it's a rhythm, you know. And then, you know, I look at the phone, I parlay with the phone, and the phone dies. I'm like, damn, how am I gonna show them the video? They ain't gonna they ain't gonna take this. Well, you know, I I guess you guys can charge it and, and I'll show you. So it's still dead? It's dead. Once you let me charge it, I can show you the video. I can show well, you. I, I, I called her mom and said, do you want me to call the cops? This is supposed to be a wife. I say I do too. She said, no. They'll put it on TMZ. I, I don't yeah. have any problem believing you about this video, man. But, yes. but we're not talking about the video. We're talking about last night. Yes. So you keep going back to this video. I believe you have a video. Oh, are you saying, you action? You saying yeah. actions? You yeah, say, you don't you're asking my brain about video. actions. Sure, okay. You don't trust the actions of what I've been doing. That's what you're asking me. And I'm saying to you, these are the places I've been. Okay, okay. That's all. That's fair. I appreciate yes, that. Sorry, text bro. When did you call her mom? Uh, that weekend. You know what I mean? Like, what is that, Friday? Okay. And I told her, you know, it's getting a little crazy. But we can work on it. And, you know, first thing, first thing my manager said, yes, last thing we need is the cops coming to the house and they putting you in the rest and stuff like that. So when she do things like that, it just make me be a better man to her. So we have good days. We've been having amazing, amazing days together. And this guy that I allow her to talk to, I maybe should not allow it. You know what I'm saying? I should just, I should have just been like, babe, I don't really have the full energy. I don't have the, cause she has, she takes a lot of energy. She's beautiful. She's, you know, she's short. She takes a lot of energy to just to function. I should have maybe said that to her. One of the things I need to do is I need to speak to this John person, right? So that's why I'm really trying to uh -oh. um, speak to this John person just to help you verify your own story. Does that make sense? It's going to be hard. How so? Because I don't know him like that. It's like meeting the girl at a club. It's worth a shot, though, right? I mean, it's a pretty pretty, pretty big deal. You're getting accused bro, of something like that. But, bro, I ain't been accused. She never said nothing that I, I guarantee you she didn't say that. She did. She didn't say Brashear did that. She did not say that. The cops took, the firefighters took her to the hospital. And... What do you mean? How do you know that? Because I know. Of course, I know. I know the law. The firefighters took her to the hospital. She said her husband, somebody called. Somebody used that phone and called or something. And you know, Used which phone? I don't know. Whatever phone that was, Mark probably was still at the house or something like that. He used, because the phones are connected to each other. These are two phones connected to each other, but different phone numbers. So who knows what Mark was doing in that house? You know what I'm saying? And after that, boom. I don't. I don't think she's. She went to the hospital and said that. I think she went to the hospital and said that. Uh, well, she told our detective the statements. I don't think that. Uh, until I'm telling you. I mean, she, she, I'm not trying I, to convince I, I, you. I'm no, telling I, you that. I, I allow her to live with me. Okay. I doubt she said that to Bashir. Can I call her Bashir or you want me to say Mr. Gray? Mr. Gray. Who are you comfortable with? Her? Yeah. I'm comfortable with food. But my name is Sheer. I, 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 I can see what we can do. Do you have any allergies to food? You're allergic to anything that's going to hurt you? I uh, don't know. No. Okay. But I can see yes, about sir. trying to get you um, some food. Yeah. So, I'm going to go back to the John person in a second. All right? I don't know him like that. But I also want to understand, you said you blacked out or you passed out at John's house, right? When you say passed out, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, no, go ahead. Do you mean like, 
you were high or drunk and you passed out, or like you were tired and you fell asleep, passed out? Because I say passed out. If tired, I, fell asleep, okay. work, working out. Okay. As you see, we've okay. been playing tackle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to clarify. Yeah. Um, do you smoke cigars, cigarettes? What? CBD, that's CBD. That's it. Tell me about that. How do you how do you oh. um, prepare it and how does it work? The CBD, uh, I roll it in papers, put a little CBD, smoke it. You know, you don't get high. You don't get high or nothing like that. But okay. it'll keep you somewhat, you know, calm, laid back. And you mentioned you roll it in papers. Describe that paper to me. The papers is rolling papers. Just rolling papers? Yeah, like whiskey leaf for the, the clear white papers. Okay. And where do you get those? I get those from the same place I buy the CBD. So I think, like I said, that's where Walmart is. Okay. So right over there, like where Panda Express is over that side. Where else? Is that the only place you get them? It's close. It's about 10 minutes. And then, you know, gas, back and forth. No, I'm saying that's the only place you get them. That's the only place I would get them. Only place. That's the only place. Sir? I only go one place. That's the CBD store, or, or I take her to Walmart. You mentioned gas. Um, yeah. Where do you get gas at? I get gas. There's only one gas station. The QT. QT. Yes, sir. When was the last time you went to the QT? Last time I've been to the QT was um, around probably. Were you there Ten yesterday? Tennis, yeah. Last like, night? Yeah. It's the only gas station close to Goodyear. Last night you were there about tennis? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So you, so you left mm -hmm. John's house mm -hmm. and went to the QT with what vehicle? Um, the vehicle, the, the rental, the Hemi rental. Okay, that, that one that was in the driveway when yes. we were there. Yes, okay. Sir. The Hemi okay. rental. Yes, sir. Who was with you? Um, no one. No one. Okay. So initially, say so that's another part of the story I didn't hear about. Mm -hmm. So initially, you went to John's house last night at 4.30 or 5 or something like that. You walked there or you drove there? I drove. You drove there? Yes, sir. And you stayed there until you came back this morning? Yes, sir. But your vehicle was in the driveway before you got home? Yes. How did it get there? So you asking me how did the vehicle... So I would left the vehicle there. I didn't go in the house. I didn't want to... No. Wake her up. I went back to John's house. Okay. Instead of why didn't you just drive back to John's house? Because it's it's you know it's good to wake up, take a walk, force your, force yourself and challenge yourself to grow. It's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with. What that. time did you did you drive it back to the house? He said. Uh, I got gas, and probably drove it back to the house like right after I got gas. So okay. Probably ten twenty ish thirty thirty. -ish. Okay. Okay, but you weren't with her when you did that. When you went out to the no QT, no one was in the car. No one. I had the music blasting. I got in the car. Got my got got my stuff. Got the gas. Parked the car. That was it. So you got gas? You said? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, do you remember what pump? The gas pump. Do I remember what pump? Um, gas pump could have been. But I used the car, so I didn't have to go into the cash register and say, pump five. It was, you know, this has been the first day with a lot of kids at this gas station. So oh, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, yeah, it was busy, so it just threw me off. I'll just get the gas, and that was it. Hopped in the car and went back home. But then walked to John House. Because we, we saw that vehicle at the gas station, right? We did. Okay. And that's why See, I asked you. the truth. Who else was with you? No one. I had I got in the car and like I said, it was nobody. I didn't I didn't look back to check her. I just got in the car, turned the music up. You didn't look back to what? I didn't look to see if anybody was in the car or nothing like that. I could just, there have been a, could there have been somebody else in the car? I don't know. When you just uh, you know, like I said, when you just being, you know, doing things and just you know, you know, I don't know. I don't know. When, when your wife, can I call her your wife? My girl. Your girl? Okay. <laughs> Candace, when Candace is in the 
when she rides in the car with you, where does yes. she ride? She normally rides right next to me, like on the passenger seat. Okay. Yeah. What was the last time was she in that car? Last time she was in that car, I took her to Ross. That was on Saturday. I took her to Ross. She wanted to, she begged me, I want a little Ross. Uh, I need to get the cat some cat food and I need to get some litter. So that's what she did. She got the cat food, she got the litter, and she put it in the back seat. In the back seat? Yeah. Last night, did you get, you did get gas? I did. How, so do you have a credit card payment there last yeah, night? I do. For gas? I should. Once I got you guys charged the phone, I should be able to go to my Wells Fargo account. And well, we can get we can get that with your phone right oh, now. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, so you used the credit card to pay for gas? Yes, I did. Okay. You filled the tank all the way? No, I, I normally put like $10, $15. I'm not working. Okay. So I'll be like $15 in the gas, and that should last for a couple of days. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so... We're very familiar with that QT over there. Yeah. Can I ask another question? Yeah. Did you go in the store or did you pay at the pump? Uh, man, I docked the car and I went right into the store and then. What'd you go in the out. store for? I went in the store to get two burritos um, and some backwoods. I don't smoke backwoods, but John do. Um, some backwoods. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you know he smoked backwoods? <laughs> he said, get him some backwoods. I got him some back wood. When did he tell you that? He told me that. He called me blocked. Like I said, when, you know. He called you again blocked? Yeah, he always okay. called me blocked. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you went in the store. Where did you pay for the gas? At the pump or in the store? At the pump. At the pump. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of things. Kids with dirt bikes, kids with four wheelers. I was like, there's a lot of people outside today. Yeah, it's today. busy, it's busy. Yeah. So you bought two transactions there, one for the uh -huh. food inside the store. Yeah, one, one I walked in the store, and then uh -huh. I came back, and then I put the gas there. Okay. I pumped the gas. Okay, what what kind of credit card, like Visa, MasterCard, is it a debit card or credit card? It's a temporary card. Temporary card. Yeah, because my other card was chipped. Oh, gotcha, yeah. okay. Yeah. So they sent you like a temporary one. Yes, they did. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Um, these Let me know days, if you need another water. I do, I do, please. I'll get you water. All right. Um, these days, mm -hmm. um, you have, mm -hmm. like Detective Hertenstein was explaining to you, mm -hmm. technology. Yes. With phones, you know, mm -hmm. GPS. Yes, sir. Surveillance videos. Yeah, so you should see me, you know, you know, uh, at the gas station. You should definitely, that's something I'm telling the truth. You should definitely see me get gas, and, but I'll let you talk. No, it, that's fine. Um, it's a dialogue, so I, I don't mind you, you uh, know, interjecting and saying what you need to say. Yeah. Um, but what if we tell you that we saw someone else get out of the car on surveillance video? On what surveillance video? At the QT. I would I would be like that would be that would be say that it'd be a surprise. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and get a copy of that video. I don't have it here, obviously. Yes, yeah, sir. But I'm going to try and get a copy of that video. Okay. And, Mr. Gray, one of the things I'm trying to do, you know, um, like I said, is put the pieces, pieces together. together. I respect you. And everything that you tell me, mm -hmm. it's my job to verify it. Help me verify the information that you're providing to me, right? Yeah. It's my home. I allow her to stay there. No, hold on. Give me a second. Um, the information that I want to verify is where you were yesterday. You mentioned you were at John's house. Yes, sir. And but the spell of like the playground for you. Right. I need a phone number for John. I don't have a phone number. I need to know the neighbor who texted John. 
one of the neighbors on the block. Definitely. Who did? Who specifically? Oh yeah, I don't know. I okay. know all of them. They all see me when I moved in. They all see me. They all know about John. John came over to the house, you know, probably like once. You know what I'm saying? When was that? Uh, the first time I met him, he came to the house to see the pool one time, you know. Uh, one of the neighbors seen him. I don't know which house she was at, but she was jogging with, with her daughter. And, oh, I know you. And that was it. And how did she get John's number? She had his number. She knows his parents. She knows John's parents? Yes. Okay, so you know, you know what house on the street she lives in? No. She was just walking. She wasn't too far down from my house. He was coming out. She was like, John? I'm like, yeah, you know, it's my boy. It's my buddy. And I guess when this when this scene, crime scene happened, she texted John because she knew I was with John. She just... How did she know that? I don't know. She just like, there's a lot of cops at Brashear's house. I looked at it and I, it's coming to me because it's my house. And I'm thinking... Oh, it's a lot of cops at your house. It's coming to you? Yes, because it's my heart. So if it's saying, somebody's saying, there's a lot of cops at Brashear house, mm -hmm. it's not saying it to me. She don't know me like that. She knows John. Right. So but did John get a text on his phone? He did. And did you get a text on your phone as well? I know. That phone was just in the neighborhood. Right. But did you get a text on your phone as well? No. Because I didn't have that phone. I didn't have a phone with me. But what do you mean you say it's coming to you? What's right. coming to you? A heart. My heart. You only have one heart. So mm -hmm. if, if your wife texts you, she could be like, if somebody, if something goes on with you, yeah. you know, your wife is, you know, she's in, she's in a traffic jam. She's like, you know, her phone's died and she texts you off another phone, babe, I'll be home soon. That comes to your heart and you like, okay, text back, you know who it is. You text back and say, okay, make sure you, you're safe. I love you, blah, blah, blah. So when she, the neighbor texts John and said, there's cops outside of Rashir's house, I'm thinking that, you know, I'm not thinking, I'm knowing that I have to do something about it because it's me, it's my house. It's cops outside of my house, something happened. What did this guy, Mark, do? So I'm like, so what did you do when that happened? What did I do? Man, I thought of everything, you know, but one thing I ain't gonna do is run. and and. and you know, put y'all in a situation when y'all doing doing something all day and wasting y'all time. I'd rather come there, tell y'all, show y'all the video, show y'all, tell y'all we got an open relationship, let y'all know what's going on, and anything can happen in seconds. You know, I don't know Mark like that. You know, and that's that's really y'all. Have you ever gotten? But Candace is my best friend. She loves me to death. Okay. Yeah, have I love ever, her too. Have you ever gotten into a physical altercation with Candace? No. In the past? Never. No. But other than that, like I said, other than that date, um, your partner, he's not going to that's how I could do, actually express it. That day, um, what, Friday? I was trying to get the scissors out of hand. So she bit her lip. It was getting bigger every day. And then she had a bruise on her leg because I, we both fell. We both fell on that concrete floor. You see the floor in the house, it's concrete. And so I just it. I just pretty much asked if he have ever had any physical altercations with yeah. Candace. So he was just reiterating. Well, you like five experience later, on really Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, you were telling us about the experience on Friday with her when it got physical. Yes. Uh, like I said, uh, she had a knife in her hand, and I was trying to take the knife out of her hand, and she kind of bit her lip, where her lip was swelling up for a couple of days, and then she had a. Bruise. She kind of bit her lip. How did that happen? But we both fell because she's like this, just like this with the, the scissors. I'm like, you better not do it. We 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 cannot be doing this. And I won't text no other female. I won't put you in this situation again, basically. And she's like, no, don't you come near me because I'll cut you. But that's not that don't need to be there. You know, she just said, don't come near me. I'm like, you're not going to just do this and I'm not going to be able to save you. No, so I, I even risk my own life of getting killed and it was a tussle because we could have fell and the knife would have went to me but the knife went in this side you know she was trying to struggle with it struggle with it i finally got it out of her hand and that was it and that um, was you're saying that was friday 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 that was it um are we able to get a copy of that surveillance video from qt mm -hmm. i'm sure
We should be. Um, I think we might already have it. I'm not sure about that, but we might already have it. Yeah, I need to review that. Um, so, but I did learn a couple things. Okay. Um, so that phone you have, that we have, that, that you came home with, what's that phone number? Oh, that phone number. And so that's the same phone that called from the gas station last night at 10 something. Really? To, to say she was trying to say she she jumped out, she was missing or something like that. Ooh. But that's the phone that was buried, right? That could have been Mark calling because, like I said, when I leave that car there, I leave that phone there, you know? And the phone is in the car, and the car is, the you phone. Know, you start the but you start the button in the car, the keys are in there already. Mm -hmm. So he's already open. So I don't know. Maybe Where was the phone buried? He's switching this, putting this on me. Where was the phone buried? Um, the phone was in the car for a little bit, and then um, I buried it. I put it over there, and uh, where is it? At? Near Estrella. Near so the phone was in the car for a little bit. So that's yeah. a new. That's a new thing too, right? Yeah. When was? Oh. Yeah. I've been coming. I don't understand. The phone was in the car. When? Uh, when I drove back to QT, I left the car. I remember I went to John House and uh -huh. came back. Right. So and that's back. a and that, that was about the same time that 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 phone call. No, no, I dropped. I got gas. I dropped the car back home. Right. Yeah, but what time did you get gas though? Ten-ish. Mm -hmm. About ten-ish. That's about the right time, yeah. Yeah, so I got gas around ten, dropped the car back off, left the phone. I forgot that I done left the phone in the car. I can't do that. She will go through the phone. So, you got me halfway to John house, come back and get the phone, bury the phone. So around like 10.45-ish. It's when I bury the phone. So basically, what you're what you're relying on at this point is the idea that you halfway to John's house, which is drove, like, drove to John's house. You know, walking distance to the Estrella Theater is probably only 20 minutes from the house. The theater. The theater. So that's where we were practicing at, like around there. Oh, 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 the where school. the high school is? Yeah. Where the, okay, okay. So it's about, this is, I'm halfway walking there. I got, oh, no, I got to come back. I come back around 10, 15 minutes later. I don't see any lights on. I'm thinking she's asleep. I don't see anything in the house. So I'm like, cool. Let me hide the phone. Let me go have fun with John. Today is a brand new day. You know? I know one thing's for sure. I don't have to run in circles to understand her story. I gotta run in circles to understand what you're trying to do. <laughs> because I'm doing a lot. Hey, she's 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 just being a girl, staying in one place. I'm going to get gas, going this place. I'm doing this. When you went to get gas, you went to John's house. That's it. Yeah, but I got right. gas and dropped the car back home. That's all. I just wanted to go to John's house right. and play some football. So I'm trying to wrap my head around the idea that right. you drove the car back to her house, or to, to, my your, house. to your house, I'm yeah. sorry, where she was. Of course. You, Park you is there. I could get a copy of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might have had to step up. Yeah, go please. Right. Walk back to John's house. Uh-huh. But you buried your phone on the way. I left the phone in the car. Left the phone in the car. So okay, okay. For about okay. 15 minutes. So okay. I don't know if John used it to call to try to put things on me because it's all connected to my phone. If who used it? No, Mark. Mark, okay. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. You know? Because like I said, she, if whatever happened, she she, she would say... And then at what point did you come back and get the phone out she, of the car? She's Trinidad, so she doesn't speak English. I get that. Yeah, yeah. So at what point did you get the phone out of the car and go bury it? About 10.45, sir. About 10.45? Yes. So 10.45 until this morning when you walked back and unburied it, the phone, the tower, cell towers and stuff is going to show the phone there. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I have, you know, you know. Little friends and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? What do you mean? You know, like neighborhood kids. Okay, what about them? Uh, they seen me buried it before. So you think they unburied it? <laughs> it's always moving around. Okay, and then, yeah. and then, it's always like, and then reburied it so that yeah. you could get it later. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
Okay. But the uh, kids definitely see me bury it before. Okay. They always see because they was out there too when I did it. It's like, yeah, y'all better not touch this phone. When you were getting gas at the QT, uh huh. Was it QT? Yes, sir, it is. Did anyone get out of your car? I didn't see anybody. You didn't see anyone get out of your car? I didn't even see anybody in my car. I'm, you okay. know, she has her, uh, it definitely feel like a spirit when even when I'm alone it definitely feel like she's always with me because she has her things her clothes is in the trunk you know we just moved from Airbnb from Airbnb to our first house so I always feel like she's with me but she's not gotcha you know? so you, did you buy this place that, that you were yes. at yes yeah. I did oh recently recently I own it yeah yeah when did you move in though I mean when did you buy it we bought it about four months ago okay uh, Jenny Jenny our realtor hooked us up okay and uh, David, Jenny and David. Jenny and David. Yeah. Um, they have a good relationship with me and Candace. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. But yeah, I went to QT. I went inside the store. I came back out. Um, I seen that it was a lot of kids out there today. Seen that it was popping. I was like, all right, cool. Um, got back in the car. Got some gas. Left out. And then where'd you go from there? Went home. Okay, you went home. I went straight home. You went home, and then what? Uh, left the phone in the car. Left the phone in the car, okay. You know, and I had to come right back, so I'm halfway to Estrella. Mm -hmm. I'm basically sneaking behind her back because she sleeps. I don't want to bother her. Mm -hmm. so I go back to John's crib, and you know. How'd you get in the car? Was it locked? No, the keys are in. You leave it unlocked? Mm -hmm. I leave it unlocked. Okay. It's a rental. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then you come back to the house. Did you go in the house? No. No, okay. No. Were there any other vehicles there? Uh, no other vehicles. No other vehicles there. I see any other vehicles. Okay. Um, uh, it might be some, like normally it's different vehicles that's parked on a block that I don't know about. Sure. I don't know what that's about. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then, so what'd you do when you got back to the house then? Okay, when I got back to the house, um, I searched for the phone, I couldn't find it at first. I'm like, it's moved. How did it become on the floor? Uh, I found it under the seat. I thought that was weird. I was like, you know what? I don't pay no attention. Then, you know, buried the phone. Okay. Was she home? Definitely. She was home. Okay. Does she drive? No. She doesn't have a car or anything? No. Okay. Okay. And then, so you got your phone, and then you went... I'm thinking she's trying to keep this from me. You know? What do you mean? She was in the trunk of that car, you saying? I don't know if she's in the trunk of the car. Oh, uh, because I'm, I'm thinking if anything, she's trying to, she's trying to keep it from me, and uh, whatever happened with that, she's just trying to keep it from me. That's what I believe. What do you mean keep it from me? She didn't want to. She know she don't want to stress me. I already have a lot on my plate. Okay. You know I'm an artist. I'm rapping every day, and I gotta feed the cats. I feed her. I cook her breakfast every morning. You know I just try to stay positive. I stop smoking weed. I stop drinking liquor. So. Um, it's just, you know, trying to stay busy and stay focused in a, in a good way. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, she was very clear when she said that this was between you and her, what happened. Yeah. Uh, I mean, she didn't just say my husband. I know she's from Trinidad, but she didn't just I say my protect husband. Her. No, I'm going to protect her. And I don't, she doesn't have her green card. So if she, it, you know, whatever, I just want you to see the video to that. She's mentally we have issues that we need to stop this maybe i put her maybe she feel as though she has an internal feeling i put her in this situation because i want to be a person that's talking to other females and she wants to be just focused on me so she was forced to do that because she's not going to just die in the house and just be bored with herself so maybe she she feels like this is like a slap in your face now what you know and I you think she's it. telling us you did this to kind of jab at you, get back at you? To get back at me. Okay. So I stop this. So I stop it, and then we get back to our family. That's all. But yeah. really, it was it was Mark. It was Mark, man. You know, the thing is, for him to call off my phone, bro, that's some CIS. Well, I don't understand how he did that. You got to walk yeah. me through how he did that. I don't got no code on my phone. There's no code. Yeah, but how did he get your phone to do that? It was left in the car. So he used it in that like 15 minute period yeah. that... Yeah, he's like, no, she ain't gonna get me. And he put it on me. Because 
at the end of the so day. So Mark was at the house. Why are we all here? We all here to support me. She's here to support me. Anybody that's in my life is, just, is there to support you. So no, blame your ass. Put it on him. Blame it on Brashear. And that's kind of how it led up. Because it's my home. This is where you did it at my home. I should not even allow that. Like, that's so stupid for me. So for her, she don't have a green card. She don't have an insurance. She's just being honest, you know. And she's not being fully honest, but she's being honest because she know how severity of the situation get. This is Arizona. They don't play that, you know. And they will send her to a psyche ward. She went in there like that and didn't say nothing that made sense as a female. But she got to stand. She's putting me now in danger. She's putting me in hot water. Because you guys got to go check video, think, you know, do this and do that. Well, she got out of your car to QT. That's unbelievable. Like when I was talking to him, so I she said, did. So he, that he would, asked me. He asked me, "Did you know anybody was in the car?" I said, "No." So that would mean that he, that Mark, was still at your house while she was in your car. What? Well, he made a phone call with your phone, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, why would he still be at my house? Well, so let's see. So you, you, you were at the QT. Yeah. Around ten o'clock or so. Yeah. She got out. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you went inside, I don't know. I didn't see it for myself. This is just what the other officer's telling me that he saw in the video. Mm -hmm. And then you left and you drove straight back home. Mm -hmm. And then you walked, started walking to John's house, mm -hmm. except you came back. Mm -hmm. And in that short period of time, mm -hmm. when you parked there and you walked away and you mm -hmm. came back. About 15 minutes, you know, that's a long walk. About 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mark was there to mm -hmm. get into your vehicle, use your put, phone. Put hands on my girl. Put hands on your girl. Uh -huh. Use your phone. Uh -huh. And then put it back in the car and then go. I don't, the thing, uh, this is what I don't know if it's going to add up. I don't know if Mark put his hands on her in that 15 minutes or he already did. Because like you said, she had already jumped out the car. Sure, sure. So maybe like that whole time I was going at 530. They've been arguing, they've been fighting. Okay. And he uses my phone. Okay. And maybe he's like, I don't well, think you missed anything. He's uh, like, maybe where is she? Like, where is she at? You know, maybe he's home. Like, where is she? He don't know I'm outside of the house. So maybe he's thinking like, oh shit, she's about to go get the cops on me. I, he's panicking, he's panicking, he's panicking. He uses my phone to call and says whatever he says. He said, my name is Mark. For real? Yep. Asshole. Asshole. Why? Because it's like saying Ellen and uh, if you look at Ellen DeGeneres name, you're going to say it. You're going to breathe it. You want to, when you look at it, you see Ellen DeGeneres, you know, and Mark, who knows if that's even his real name, you know, it's all a, it's all a mental warfare playing a game with me. Hmm. It's like, I allow him in my house. So that's something I shouldn't have So, okay, so then you buried your phone after you came back and got it and you left, right? Yeah, yeah, 15 yeah. minutes, yeah, we, yeah. Did, we established that he was at the QT. Okay. He went inside. At some point, she got out of that vehicle. Oh, so... Well, he doesn't know that. I told him that. Like, I told him, you told me that. I didn't same know. thing you guys Same thing you said. I, did, I told you I didn't know. He said the same thing. Okay, so she got out. He doesn't know that. She got out of the vehicle there. You filled up and you drive back to your house. Mm -hmm. You start walking to John's house. You realize you left your phone in the car. 15 minutes, yeah. You get back about 15 minutes later. It's on the floor. It's, it's on the floor. The phone, phone is moving. Yeah, I told him that. Yep. But you take the phone. Take the phone. And you go bury it. Bury it. And you go to John's house. John's house. And you stay there for the rest of the night. The rest of the night. <laughs> and at some point, when the officers came to your house and they called that number that we just talked about. Yes, sir. They talked to somebody on that phone. It wasn't you? It wasn't me. How is that possible? It wasn't. They talked to somebody on that phone who was in your house. It wasn't me. Okay. Couldn't be. Okay. Couldn't be. Uh, Couldn't be. Does Mark look like you? He's... You guys have the same, like, height, build, hair, stuff like that? He, he, has, the, he has more curly hair. He has the things like that. Okay. Yeah. Um... And then it couldn't happen to me. I don't know if he, you know, it's a bunch of technology where 
you you can link phones. You no, can, not you phone got, numbers. You could. It's apps. It's definitely apps. It's Google numbers. Yeah, but the cell app. towers don't lie. Don't don't lie. I mean, you right. can. I could call you right. with a fake number. Right. So that you say, oh, this is John calling me. Yeah. Because that's John's number, but then really it's me because I changed my number. Right. That kind yeah. of app. What? But what about the cell the other phone? Cause the I cell companies don't lie. I know the <clears> other phone. I know the other phone, right? Okay. Was still in the house. Yeah, but it was that's this phone her. number. I'm not sure. That's that's not that's something that's, that I'm unaware of. Like I said, when I bury the phone, these kids they know where I bury it. I tell them don't touch the phone. I don't know if they do whatever they do. But these are young kids, you know. They, we play around all the time. But I don't know who who they could be possibly. I don't know. If they would do that. I don't think they would. Is this even true? What? It's true. What I told you? The, the phone call? Yeah, yeah it's oh, true. Okay, okay. We're not going to make stuff up. And yeah. I do sometimes, but I didn't make that up. <laughs> so, Mark, you yeah. say Mark has been inside a house? Are we still... Is that is that what you're saying? Mark was inside a house? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what we've been talking about. Okay. And how long have you been living at this house? Hmm. Three, four months. Maybe. And how many times you... Mark has been there? Maybe twice to three times. Have you seen him there? You yourself seen him there? I won't be there when he's there. It's like, you know what I'm saying? So, how do you know that he's there if you have never seen him? I've seen him before, but I. I, I at the house I'm talking, specifically at the house. At my house? Of course yeah. I've seen him, because that's my house. Does he live here? He lives in Arizona. He lives in Phoenix, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Do you know how she met him? Or like, who is this guy? Maybe from Instagram. Okay, so just some dude. Yeah, she, she said, I want you to meet him. I said, I gotta trust him. Trust him. Alright, you look alright, you look cool. Okay. Alright, little boy, you ain't got no gun on you, you ain't got nothing on you, you no weapons. But she's just so tender. She's so tender headed, she she bruised easily. Even when we have sex, she bruised. So I know that she if they got into a fight, it don't look cute. Where does she bruise when you have sex? Um like if I grab her waist, you can see my hand my fingers on her waist. Okay. Yeah. And she's from Trinidad, huh? Yeah. I haven't spoken to her myself. Does she speak good English? She does. Pretty clear? She does. And we established that the, the reason she would tell officers that you did this mm -hmm. is to slap in the face to say, you know, stop, stop it. You know, it's time for us to just be us. You know, no insiders, no outsiders. And Stop what? What do you think she's trying to tell you stop? Stop, stop the cheating, I guess. Stop the cheating, stop the texting, uh, stop the... Uh, why don't she just talk about relationship? Why don't she just talk to you about that? Because you know she can. She can talk to me about anything, but she she just wants to be supportive. She don't want to. This isn't very supportive. Telling the cops that you did this stuff to her. Yeah, that's not supportive. But at the same time, she don't have a green card, so she she does not want to get deported. You know, and that's a big thing with her. She does not want to get deported. And I'm like, uh, I'll take the fall, you know, but at the same time, if I take the fall, you have to see the video. And well, I don't want you to take the fall for anything you ain't done. Yeah, I don't want anyone doing that. That's my wife. I just don't want her. I, I put myself in a situation. As a man, I just got to, I don't know what's next with this. Here's what I can, here's what I can tell you. I'll, I'll say this, and I don't know where my partner stands on this, okay? I, I won't speak for him. I'm just going to speak for me. I don't believe you. And that's just me being honest and, and in a respectful way. I'm not not being disrespectful. Okay. Okay. I, I don't believe you. It's okay. Um, and well, we we're, do, we're on the same page with that. And we do because it's not. I'm trying to figure it out. It's not adding you up. You never. You guys. You you're a detective. You know what I mean. It's. it's I'm trying to help you. Put you know. Put the yeah. story together. Yeah, this is gonna. This is going to line up for us. It's going to because we're gonna track the phone locations, mm -hmm. right? Um, put the phone numbers the phone together. Guy, remember the phone. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, all the phones, you know. Okay. The vehicle locations, the surveillance, and everything like that. Okay. Um, because that stuff doesn't lie, right? It just doesn't lie. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's there's uh, ring cameras around your house too okay. to help us show you coming and going. You know, like that neighbors neighbors have ring cameras. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. 
So that'll show that, and obviously I haven't done that yet because it's still early, right? But that'll help us say, okay, yep, there he is. He parked right there. You know what I mean? He drove past. Oh, all my neighbors, but my neighbors on my block. See, the neighbors like down the street may have them, but my neighbors on my block don't do surveillance like that. This is a doorbell. A lot of people have them. Shoot, it don't even, it costs like nothing nowadays. This doorbell. Nobody, you see, the doorbells is like a, so it's like a harness, and then you go into the door. So my house is the only one that is like kind of open. That's fine. Yeah. We'll we'll see what's there and what's not. Okay. Um. So what I'm telling you is this is gonna this is gonna pan out. We don't we don't we don't throw something to the side until it makes sense. We don't put a bow on it until it makes sense. That's why I want to show you the video. Okay. To show you and we'll get there. State. We'll get there at some point. You know, a lot of girls go through. Uh, we'll get there at some point. But right now, what I'm concerned about is last night's events. Yes. Okay. Maybe her mental issues. Like I said, she was trying to kill herself about two days. I'm professional. I don't think like that. She's going through mental issues. So this is that may be true. Yes, yeah, so I'm showing you the video because yeah, that may be true. Her her IQ is you know what who Yaz texts, who I text, you know what girl I seen that day. You know she don't know if I if I ran into a girl and gave her my number that day when I went to Walmart or something like that. She always she's just she's insecure because I can get any girl I want type of thing. So she's like. She don't know what I'm doing. I cheated on her before. She don't know if okay. I walk away from you guys and I text Shorty and say, meet me here. Because I've done it plenty of times and came back home. And she never knew about it. So she's so, you know, in that mode too. You know? I really just want her to get looked at. And I want to talk to her about it um, when we get home. And just, we ain't going to, uh, you know. We ain't gonna have you guys coming to the house no more. We should not have you guys coming to the house no more. That's just what it is. I'm sorry you guys gotta actually like, you know what I'm saying? What do you mean? You know, like put your all in this and. Oh shoot, don't be sorry. We, we this is a voluntary job. I mean, if I don't like it, I can leave, but, <laughs> but this is what we do, right? Yeah. Uh, nobody's that's forcing really me not. to do anything. Yeah, that's where I'm at with it. Like she, if she's mentally going it, then maybe yeah, she jumped in the car and didn't even tell me she was in the car, like or she was already in the car. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Maybe she was hiding from him. She's in the car. I don't know. And I'm just going to get some backwoods. I'm all happy. She's all like, you know what I'm saying? I'd sure. rather. I would. I that's would rather. I, I, like, I know how she thinks. I can't make you do anything. We're certainly not here to try. I would yeah. rather have a discussion. I, I was hoping. I was. I would rather have come in here have a discussion with you about what happened and how and and maybe there's an explanation and how you can help me understand. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're not there. We're not. We're, we're just. We're just <laughs> not getting I'm there. I'm the probably the most you know positive. I mean? Um, motivating person. I motivate everybody I meet. I yeah, you them, seem I like get, a motivated person. I give nice them guy. the chance to hear themselves. I yeah. get a, that's the talent I have. That's why people hire me. Because I give them, I, I help that. At the end of the day. Yes, sir. As the detective is explaining to you, it will add up for us. Right? So. so let's think forward a little bit. Okay. Right? Once we have, have all the information that we're currently working on right now, and it shows everything that you're telling us is not true. Think about that for a second. Without even responding, just think about that for a second. So you're saying that I did... So if you go and look at the video at QT, and you don't see me get out the car, right? Okay. That's not true. I told you I went to QT. Right, right. But there's other stuff. Okay, so if you check the phone, and okay. you see that the phone was in one location, um, well, the neighborhood location, the whole time while I'm at John's house, that's not true because I said that was true. I said okay, that's let's, let's, let, can you help us find John? Like I said, bro, it's like me meeting you today. I don't know where you live. We got a good vibe. Like, I feel like we could be, if I met you out in person, I'd be like, yo, what's up, bro? Absolutely. He is. The thing is, you told me, yeah, you met John, and she's pregnant. That's one other thing. Hold on. You told me you met John. Mm -hmm. You and John had a connection. Mm -hmm. John went to your house. Mm -hmm. You went to John's house. Yes. More than once. Twice. But you felt so comfortable with John, yeah. with that connection, mm -hmm. you passed out, slept at his house. 
Yeah, CBD, good food. Get, catch the itis. You know how we get? We eat food, we get sleepy. We pass out. You know? We got in the pool. It's just relax. It's, the, the body feel good. You feel good. You ain't feel like this yesterday. But you can't tell me how to get in touch with John. I don't know him like that. He has my number. But the neighbor down the street knows him well enough and knows him, knows I don't know, John. The neighbor well in the neighborhood. Right. Yes, sir. You said down the year street, right? I was walking with her daughter. Yes, she's down. She's one that of the That neighbor houses. knows John well enough. Yes, sir. And knows you well enough to know that both you and John are friends. So she texts John yes, sir. that police were at your house mm -hmm. and John relayed that information to you. Mm -hmm. And you were at John's house this morning. But you can't, te you can't tell me, with that relationship and that history and that tight circle that you have, mm -hmm. there's no way you could tell me how to make contact with John. No way whatsoever. No, because life ain't like, life, life is unexpected. You know, is there I, a way look, to contact that lady who you said text? I don't know. John. I, if I seen her, I'd know her. If I seen her, I would know like, oh, that's the lady that said what's up to John that day. They only seen me outside probably like two, three, four times. So every time I come outside, there's nobody outside. It's too hot. So when I'm outside, I'm John, she's just ran it. Just luckily, we ran into each other. That's all. John is about my height. He's loud. So you're, you're saying that, did, we, did you go in, into anything that Candace said? No, said uh, I just vaguely that she, mm -hmm. she named him. She named me. Yeah. And you're, you're saying she's doing this yes, for what reason? She does not want to get deported. She just wants whatever that happened, that tragedy happened last night. The only way for her to get treated is to tell them some type of, you know. You're asking us, though, to believe some, some kind of outrageous of, things, man. She's from Trinidad. So if, if, I, if I talk to you, you hear everything I'm saying, don't you? If you hear I'm her. A phone call. Mm -hmm. Update. Okay. You hear that? Yeah. If it's you hear, fun. if you hear right. her. You may not, you may not hear a lot of words. You may not hear a lot of words. You know, she's not very, you know, U.S. that way. She, she's not that way. But her thing is, she doesn't want to get deported. You know, so anything to say, whatever what she said, um, it was for her to get treated. She don't have insurance. She didn't think it probably would go this far. That and that's it. Without being able to verify John and verify this Mark person. Yes, sir. And with you... And I have the video. And with yes. you... Yes, sir. Changing your story... I don't change my story, bro. As we move forward, it's really posing a challenge for us to... I'm telling you everything. You want to ask me again, I'll tell you in fast speed. And I won't get anything wrong. What time, where I was at, where the phone was at, everything. i tell you. i tell you the same thing. She wanted to have sex. It was a good day. Around 4, 5.30, I left. I'll tell you the same thing. Came back at 10. Get some gas. Oh. And I know this is, this is something, this is, just like if somebody say, we need to send this person to a place or something like that. If they sign a petition, this law in Arizona will send you to that place just like this situation. This is this is like a... Do you, do you have any injuries on you or scratches or anything like that? I have football injuries. Can you, um, can, do you mind if I take a look? Do you mind standing up and showing me? Yeah. Ah, 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 you okay? Is that from football? Ah, yeah. <laughs> ah. Ugh. So, uh, my knee, man. Right here, man. Where's that from? Uh, trying to get me down. Uh, and this was with who? With John? John and some ASU guys. You know, I could compete with the football players. Where do you get that from? I'm wide receiver, so. This one right here. So I'm wide receiver, so. Get off me. You know how they try to push on you? This dude got long nails. Like, yeah. Get off me. So, where else? Where else? Do you have any injuries on your shirt? Probably on your, on your chest area? Where you get the oh. on your right side? Oh, probably when I got tackled. So all of that is from, you don't need to, you oh. can sit down now. So all of that is yes, from sir. football. Yes, sir. Those injuries are not consistent with, you know, scratches from playing football. 
No, I mean, can I stand up again? Because I've had those injuries before. No, can I stand up? Similar injuries. You know how I obtained some of those injuries how? that are very similar? How? Getting over a wall. No. Hell no. Well, no? I do that too. Yeah, I do that. You do that? Yeah. When it's, was it's, the last time you were over a wall? I do that all the time. When was the last time you were over a wall? Those scratches are fresh, like they happen uh, today. Well, last time, I always do it, at, especially at night. Because okay. it's, it's like gymnastics. Okay. When was I the did. last time you were over uh, a wall? Those scratches look very fresh. Uh, Maybe last night to come back. To come back to the house last yeah. night? Yes, sir. To what time? Back. Um, Not sure. Not sure at all. So... But yes, I do it like... So you came back, he didn't go through the front door, he went over the wall? No. I, to get over, to to cut the distance sometimes, so that's what you do, to cut the distance. So you went over the wall, which wall was that? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what wall that was. But yeah, no, this is not, this is not from wall. This is not from wall. But look at it. Right yeah, here. it definitely is, is, look. I see it right yeah. here. That's, that's if I'm, like, if I'm like this, a wide receiver, AS, a, a cornerback in ASU, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's like, okay, yes, you think you're going to catch this ball. Mm -hmm. We ain't got no equipment on, and he got long nails. So I'm like, get over. Let's, let's look that's at the nails. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight. nails. That's eight, eight nails. No, but we all playing football. Eight for, nails? That's no, at least eight. Eight nails, but different locations of... You see, this one is longer. They're all consistent. They're going in the same direction. Yes, but this, you always, I always do the same Hold thing. Hold on a second. They're yes, going sir. in the same direction. Yes, sir. Right? And yes. that's, I, as I explained to you before, Yeah. I've sustained some of those injuries before. Yeah. And it's by getting over a wall. But you're a police officer. But that's, yeah. that's just like football players. It's the same, you got big thighs. So mm -hmm. your workout could be the same workout for an athlete. You right. gotta understand, we both move and we're alive. Right. You know what I mean? So Hold if somebody on. is sticking me, somebody is on on top of me, mm -hmm. a cornerback, and he's like, you know what I mean? That's what it is. But yes, I do jump walls because it's, it cuts the distance and it's funner. So tell me, when was the last time you jumped over a wall? I'm not sure. But you did it last night. You said you yes, did it yes. last night to get back into the yes, house. Yes, I don't want to give you a false alarm. I just want to let you know, you are right. I do jump the wall, but this is from the wall. Not this. Which one this, is from the wall? This is from the wall. Okay. This is from the wall. Not and that this. was last night? Uh, yes. Okay. And that was to get back into the house? Yes. Okay. When was that? Because I, I missed that part. You, you said and I you, do that to go to the general house too sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You just, yeah. Hold on. So, so you parked your car. Mm -hmm. We went through the whole light. Yeah, no, he said, no he, said, he, he said, he said, let me see your injuries. That's yeah, what he yeah, said. Yeah. And I told him. Well, I'm talking about when you jumped the wall. No, but he said these look like wall injuries. Okay. I, I don't care. Anything I don't care. Wall. I'm just trying to figure out when this happened. We went through okay. the whole night. Okay. Yeah. You parked your car after you got back from QT. Mm -hmm. You left. Yeah. You came back, got your phone. Yeah. About 15 minutes later. I had to jump the walls to do, to even uh, get back that time. That's when you jump the walls. I jump the walls all the time. Especially no, last night. night, when did you jump the wall? And I do it sometimes during the day. I ain't gonna hold you. Sometimes I, I swim in people's pools. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't think it's a bad thing, but... Okay, so... Yeah. <laughs> I was like, so hey, you know what I mean? It's a new. <laughs> it's like your wall to get... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, so when you came back, when you when you parked your car there, uh -huh. where did you where did you walk? Down the sidewalk? You jumped your wall? Uh-uh. Um... Where did I walk? On the street? It's pitch black. Just go straight. Yeah. So you didn't jump any walls that time? Yeah, I jumped the walls to get closer to John. Okay, like through <laughs> backyards, you mean? Backyards, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm hopping over the backyard to get to the overside. And then when you came back to get your phone, were you jumping walls then too? Always, because it's cut, it cuts distance. Okay. And it's hot outside, you will get a heat stroke. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then after you got your phone, you left mm -hmm. again. You jumped some more walls. Yeah, do I bury it? You buried it. Okay. Yeah, I jumped some more walls. You jumped some more walls. You buried your phone. Yeah. You always bury it in the same place? I do, but the kids, when I did bury it, I'm surprised. It is late outside, but they're outside. I'd love to know where this was, because if um, I could go out there and find some fresh dirt where you buried this phone, that would help verify your story. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, if it's always in the same place. You know, right? the construction site, where the construction workers are, right across, like around that area. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you went to John's house and you stayed there until this morning. Yes, sir. We're getting a little bit more each time, right? Well, why did you not tell us that you went back to the house and you had to jump the wall to get back into the house? Why did you not tell us that? I don't know, man. I probably should have said that. But I was thinking, like... What, you know, what is the... You got some, oh, like a face mask? Oh, no, it's sunscreen, so I'll be playing football. Gotcha. You know, you get the sun, you want the sun to hit your face. Oh, no, it's smart. Day. It's smart. You know, you leave work, you want to put on that outfit, mm. you know? Yeah. No, it's smart. I just yeah. didn't know. Okay. That's right. Because um, some people do, like, the skin, uh, what is it, you know, skin. Oh, yeah. I should have been with dried up, though. I'm surprised. Most gone. of it's gone. There's just a little bit. Left. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, I'm jumping walls. Sometimes I swim in people's pools. So when you went back inside, where was Candace? Last night when you went back inside, what was she doing? I didn't go back inside. When I came back, you guys are out there. No, you said you jumped the wall mm -hmm. and went back to the house, right? To John's house? No, you told me. No, he just asked me, he said, he just asked me about, so you've been jumping walls, you've been jumping walls, so you jumped You walls. told me that you went back to your house last night and you yeah. jumped the wall to get in there. No, no, not to get in the house. I jumped the walls to get back to my house. I'm sorry to say, but to get to my house, I'm jumping the walls. So when I'm leaving John, I'm jumping the walls. It's about daylight now. I'm still jumping the walls to get back to my house to, to talk to y'all. Okay. That's all. Okay. I wasn't going to jump over my own fence and y'all think I'm Mark or something or whoever. I'm like, no, I'm going to go over and talk to y'all. I don't know what's going on. I ain't jumping over my neighbors and getting into my own... Uh, uh, land. Did you? That's all. You okay. said you did. You said you did. Yeah. And you said you've done it multiple times. Yeah. Because it cuts the distance. But yeah, but the thing is, you guys were there. And you said you did that last night to go back to the house. I didn't go back to the house last night. I came back when you guys found me. And I went to the house. That's when I came back. So that's why I'm jumping back. You get it? So I'm jumping back during that time. Any other time without the cops, yes. I'm getting back in the house from jumping over the walls. You know what I'm saying? It's it's as a uh, what do you say? It's Arizona. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a travel place. It's like you got the Grand Canyon. So because you, because you knew we the officers were at the house, you didn't want to be jumping the walls and looking like you were doing something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want y'all like if the neighbors complained about it. Okay. Or if something happened, I just didn't want to be that culprit, the one that was jumping the walls. So I just didn't. So when your phone was buried between like ten. What we say, like ten thirty, ten forty-five, something like that, mm -hmm. until you went and got it this morning. Mm -hmm. You know what about dirt getting in it and everything like that? Uh, nah. Okay. Because I got insurance, so I feel like I get a, phone, a new phone every month. Okay. And it's like it still months. seems easier to me just to like throw it in a cabinet or something, <laughs> right? Like, she'll you know, find you it. Your friend's house. No, like she'll your find friend's it. house. It's your friend's house. Oh, your friend's house? Yeah. Take it, throw it in the cabinet, sound like a tile, and turn it off. I'm not even mess with my phone till the morning. But you don't trust them though. You want to be aware of where everything's, with everything you're doing, and you trust them. There's not nothing meat and bad going on. It's still A B C D E F G. It's just so it's the second time you've been to John's house. Yeah, but you bury your phone out there all the time. Near the house, so that the phone is like near the crib, like um, a strella where the construction is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What other? Where else do you go that you buried out there so you don't take it with you? Um. Man, I mean, the kids see me bury it. The kids that be at the playground, they see me bury it. And, uh, and nah. Well, shoot, man. Sometimes you, I bury you, it. You were just worried that John might take your phone. You know, we're about these kids taking your phone? No, I trust the kids, though. Because okay. I know that it's a burn phone. There's nothing on it. It's just like. But, but you're worried about John taking your phone. I don't know him. I, I'm not worried about him. So he cares what he takes it. You just I told him it was a burner, man. Phone. I'm saying that what I'm trying to say is you don't need a phone. Because the phone is going to make you unaware. I've been, I'm from Philly, so if, if people getting killed for looking down at their phone and look around and getting shot. So I'm saying, I don't need to be in that city. And one, I got to protect my image and protect what I do. So I need to be aware and conscious at all times. Okay. I don't need a phone. You my phone, John. What you want to talk about, John? So would anybody go here, John? Okay, come. All right. Would I anybody have used okay, that I, phone? Uh -huh. Between the while well, I was buried, from yes, time you buried it ten something. Yes, sir. Until you got it this morning. Yes, sir. 
would anybody have used that phone for any reason? I think they charged it. Only so that phone should not have been used. No. Because if somebody used it, that means they went, unburied it, used it. <laughs> And that don't seem and then buried it seem true. for you to get. That don't seem true. And the thing is, it was dead when I were when I because when the officers were at your house mm -hmm. before you got there. Okay. They called that number, that phone. Mm -hmm. They talked to presumably you inside your house about. I'm the black, but that ain't me. Well, what I'm it saying, ain't me. I'm what black I'm, though. What I'm, I'm black what though. What I'm saying is somebody uh -huh. was using it. So what, okay, the piece I'm trying to fill in here isn't whether or not the person that was using your phone was black, uh -huh. but the person that was using their phone was using the phone, period. Anybody. It was buried. Uh -huh. Right? So yeah. when they talked to somebody on the phone... What, what did they say? What did they talk to? Well, I didn't have the phone conversation, but it was on that number, right? Uh -huh. So after they talked to that person that was pretending to be you, mm -hmm. they went back out there and buried it again so that when you were walking home this morning, you could unbury it and bring it home with you. Yeah. That don't make sense. I know. I don't, that, that part of the story don't make sense. I know. I don't know if that's even true. How can somebody talk on that phone if it's dead? Well, I suppose if it was dead, they couldn't. I'm just. T I'm not yeah. telling you. I know. I know. I'm not telling you how it works. I'm I just know. telling you this, the steps that I know. I know a phone call was made on that phone to somebody while they were outside your house talking. Did you get a somebody. recording of that? Did he record it? Did I'm, sh I'm sure. We uh, record everything. If he recorded it, then maybe we we, we record everything. Maybe we 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 can you know figure something out as far as a find my eyes. So you and my partner talked to my partner mentioned a little bit yeah um before i stepped out about thinking ahead and looking forward yeah and i talked to you a little bit about the steps that we on, on our side are going to take to help to help establish these facts right or yeah, you're not just going to do that yeah yeah yeah. so looking ahead thinking forward did knowing she get, what did she get treated yet knowing what we're gonna she's yeah, that's what that's the other half of our job right that's okay. how that's okay. how we take care of things so right. i know she's been frightened to eat knowing that COVID. that's where we're headed with this investigation yeah. and we sit down we have another conversation with you later okay let's let's imagine later we sit down we have another conversation and we tell you listen mr gray this is what this is what we saw this okay. is what we found out between neighbor cameras or gps on your phone um did all the, that stuff we talked the about cops so i was gone when probably the cops were there did the cops see the vehicle in the driveway because if they seen the vehicle in the driveway, that tells you that I'm telling the truth. Because, like I said, I dropped the vehicle back home and I went back to John's. But he was on the phone. You saying that he? Well, was it doesn't. To that doesn't tell me that you're telling the truth. What it tells me is that the vehicle was in the driveway and that wherever you were was because he was in the house or on that foot phone, somewhere. Because that phone don't add up with what she's saying. If somebody called off that phone. He's saying that you're none of this, Mr. Gray. None of no, this no, no. That, that's the only piece of the story no, no. that I feel like that doesn't add <laughs> for up for you, based on what you're laying out for us. But yeah. I can tell you right now, to yeah. be perfectly honest, yeah. on this side of the table, none of it adds up. And if you look at the video, I went to the QT. I mean, just say this. I got no problem with that. Yeah, you'll see me at the QT. You'll see me pump gas. You ain't gonna see anything else. You see me walking out of my house. You may see that. You may see those videotapes of me walking out loud because some people don't have those tapes. Some people don't. Yeah, and then you may not see that. And then what you may see is me hopping over fences or something like that um, to get to John's house. Maybe. What you may see. Someone called, by the way. Someone called and said, hey, <laughs> someone just jumped over my fence. I don't know who. Someone uh, called. What you may see is the video that I'm going to show you, which is going to support her mental health. This is a big state on if I get a petition, I'm not gonna get a petition on my own wife. But maybe I should have. So here's what Later. here's but here's what you're asking us to do. You're asking us to look I'm at this. Asking you're asking to us let to let me go, goddammit. I hear it. You're asking us <laughs> so to, I can eat my food. to look at this video to see her state of mental health yes. a few days ago. This is the big state of that. And if I show that to the psychiatric ward, that's enough for the petition. That's and, and I'm interested. I don't want to give her a petition. It'll, it'll happen. Well, no, not in that. I didn't see in oh, the video. Okay. But you're also asking us to ignore a whole lot of other things that make sense about what happened last night. 
No, it definitely happened last night. Somebody definitely did this. But it wasn't my black hands. It wasn't me. You know, and like I said, she doesn't have a green card. She does not have a. Um, I get that. I get sure, that. So none that's of that really concerns me. I, I get that. Yeah, that's all. Oh, I have a question. Yeah. Do you, when you're not at home, yeah. where do you stay? Like when you go travel and. You know, I'm home. Vacation? Or I'm home. I'm with her 24 7. So the only place you stay when you. is, is home. So if you travel to, say, California. Mm-hmm. You gonna stay overnight? Do you when come back home? When we bought the cat in Texas, oh um, Texas, where do you stay? We were staying in a hotel. You would stay in a hotel. Yeah. Like what hotel? Um, my hotel. I can say in Texas, there was we it was sixteen hours from Arizona to drive to Texas, so we stayed in Texas. We stayed in Mexico. We stayed in here. No, not Mexico. We stayed in Texas. We stayed in. A lot of places, you know, from 16 how hours. Pay, how do you yeah. pay for it? I'm about a million something dollars in my account. No, how do you pay for like, it? Like, like means like cash, credit card, cash. Credit card. Credit card, but off my old credit card. Off your old credit card? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Um, have you used any other name? Uh -uh. Always pressure gray. Always with my ID says because they don't let you check in. At all. They don't let you check in without. Were you born in Illinois? No, that's where I, I started making my millions. Okay, okay. Yeah. Where were you born? Philly. Never been there. That's yeah. crazy out there. They looting crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right now you mean? Yeah, yeah. Right now. I heard that. When did? How long did you live in Philly? When did you leave? I left at like nineteen. And then moved to Illinois. Moved to Illinois, and then from Illinois we drove to Arizona. Okay. And then we just recently. How old are you now? 26, but I feel 21. Yeah, good. Good. Um, and he feel 20. Yeah. That's <laughs> 19. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. This guy's getting older, yeah. man. Let me tell you. Yeah. Oh. you. I think you had mentioned um, when I was coming in that you had called, uh, or there was a phone call and somebody used the name Mark. Did you guys mention that? Yeah, from the, I told you, somebody called from the QT in, with that phone number. And it said from QT or over there in that area. I don't know. Maybe it was a Circle K. Maybe it was QT. Something like that, right? Let me ask you this, right? And I want I want your honesty. I'm not saying you've been lying or anything yeah, like yeah, that yeah. because you know maybe you've been up all night. I was up all night. So a lot of times when you are not completely rested, the the brain tends to not function a hundred percent. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. When you lack of sleep, sometimes no. Um, you I don't, don't agree. You don't I'm always agree. aware. So you're I'm aware. driving a vehicle. I gotta be cautious at okay. all times. Sometimes if I drive when I'm too tired, I'll run off the road. With I ain't too know. tired. I'm about to go. But jump um, I'm never that, tired. that's just me though. But so. I'm never tired. Okay. Yes, sir. So you're 100 percent. Um, yeah. So back to the the phone call with the yeah. name Mark, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that number. That person associated called from this number. Yeah, right? Do you want me to break that down for you so you understand before he asks his question? No, he's saying that somebody used that phone and said they called the cops. Mm -hmm. And what did they say? Yeah, he's going to explain. Because I thought that he called the cops at the house. He's going to explain. Um, that he called the cops at the house. What's that? No, the cops that called that phone at the house. We called that phone and said, hey, we're trying to get in touch with Do Mr. Gray. Do you have Gray. video of the, that phone call from the house? Yeah, we record everything. Okay. Then so, listen to it. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm telling you about this situation mm -hmm. is, they don't make it. They is don't from make that from that area. Uh huh. You sure it's from the QT? Well, I didn't even use a phone. That you see the video that I get. I get in the car. I get out the car, I go inside, I come outside, I park the car, I pump it, and I leave. So, it's, it couldn't have been at the QT. It's, it's, it don't make sense. It, it had to... Where could it have happened from? It could have happened when I, like I said, when 
I left the phone in there. Yeah, these cell phone towers are shitty. Sprint is the worst stuff. Is that your carrier, Sprint? No, AT&T. Never rely Sprint. on a carrier. Never rely on that stuff. You know how Wi-Fi, you go to your, you go to the next page and it's still loading? Mm -hmm. It's not that efficient. So what are you trying to tell me about? I'm just saying, that piece of evidence is not efficient. It's like saying uh, a clown face. So I put a clown face on. And I go to a party, I'm a clown. I, I could do everything a clown could do. I might can't. Clowns know how to do magic. I don't know how to do magic. Okay. Have you ever used the name Mark before? No. Not at all. My name is Brashir, okay? You've never used the name Mark before. What Sorry. if I tell you, right? Yeah. Potential, like we're thinking ahead again. Yeah, right? yeah, Down the road. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, history to show that whenever you check into hotels, you use the name Mark before, mm -hmm. and when you're ordering food, we order, have information. I order food. We have information that lead us to believe that you have used that name Mark before. Never. Never. And it's consistent with. I don't order food. My my, my girl cooks food. Mr. Gray, she it's it's food. consistent with you using this name. Mark again making this phone call no. from that location. Mark is a common name, sir. I don't use if if anything when I did this TV show. You see, look, I'm from the TV show Empire. I know you know. I would use aliases. Okay. I wouldn't use Mark. I would use other aliases so they don't know. You can hear my voice and you can tell it's me sometimes. You dig me? So I'm like I would need to use a different name back then. Now that she cooks for me every day, I cook for her every day. We don't. So order you're out. saying. So you're saying. Uh, and in I'm Chicago. Trying, and I'm in Chicago. Trying, I'm trying to track the conversation about the phone call. Yeah. Because I wasn't in here. Yeah. I'm saying. But in you're Chicago. saying when I came and I sat down, you're saying. Yeah. So he's putting it on me. Is he's he? trying to put it on me. Yeah. Who are you making reference to trying to put? Because if on I found this out, I'm looking for him. Now hold on. He's going down. Who are you saying is trying to put all of this on you? Because Mark. Mark. Yes. Because you're saying Mark. Dialed from your call the police from your number. He had to when I left the phone in there, but I don't understand. So Mark's fingerprint should be on your phone, yes? It should be. Mm. Should be. Mark's or at least somebody. somebody. At least somebody. somebody. Right. Yeah. Or if he's smart, you wipe it down. I don't know what type of street smart he has. I don't know if he is street smart. But you but didn't wipe it down. Hell no. I didn't wipe it down once I digged it up off the ground. Still covered in dirt? Still covered in dirt, but we don't know how street smart this guy is because you know why? He did all this and it's still, it's still, y'all still don't believe me, so I feel like he is smart. He'd been in this situation before, he knew how to manipulate the evidence because we're talking about me, somebody that showed up and tried to show y'all something of what we're, you know, what's going on instead of somebody that's missing. That's just like, you know, a murderer walking but, but freely. But a murderer but, walking freely. But while you were out, where you were out getting gas. On that. But while you were out getting gas, yeah, you're telling me that Mark called from your phone to to report her missing. Mm -mm. That phone was used only for YouTube at that time to play music, um, and that was it. Play songs. I got back to the house, parked the car. Left the phone in the car. Went to John House. Came back. Buried the phone. Yeah, some house fences. Cause it's cheap. It's, it's not cheaper, but it's faster. That's all. Okay. Well, it's a long day. I don't know, man. It's gonna be a long day. So you kind of like um, outlaid very you know yes. you summarize what what you've been you know talking about for over the past i don't know hour hour and a half you just summarize it right now in 30 seconds mm -hmm. right but how it's from my perspective trying to gather the facts because we're like fact finders right yeah just put you know, the pieces together a guy walk into a chinese store in philadelphia this is a plain excuse you don't you don't know you don't know who to there's so many black guys with the same thing on you don't know who walked in that Chinese store and shot that Chinese store up? You know, it's the same thing. It's, it's Philly. Not it's Philly. So, all right. With this set of circumstances here, we're talking about you in this set of circumstances here. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned that Candace 
Yeah. It's probably went to the hospital based on her injuries. Her mental issue and her mental state as well. It, right. But you mentioned her injuries. Which I talked to her mom about and she she's she's been you know, she'll say, you know, Yaz don't put his hands on me. She says that. But you, you mentioned you, you yeah. talked about her injuries. Right? Um, prior, I talked to her about her. Um, no, you mentioned you saw you. The fire department took her and took her to the hospital because of the severity of her injuries. How I do you know, know what injuries? I didn't, I didn't know all that. I just assumed. I just assumed. You assumed that she has severe injuries from what? You no, know, I assumed that the fire people or somebody. I didn't. I know her. She's not just going to get when you know somebody. But you didn't even know Mark was at the house. You assumed no, he was there too. No, right? but I'm just figuring out what's going on right now. I can see that. If my if we were sitting in the bed, she wouldn't have to tell me what happened. Did you guys have a fight last night? She, if we were sitting in the bed, I wouldn't have to ask her. I would look her in the face and know. Okay, that's what happened. And I and I it's like putting this. No, back, but you like, haven't done that. It's like putting this back in my pocket. You haven't done that. You haven't sat across to know. You haven't talked to her since this whole thing happened. Because I'm here, sir. I know. So <laughs> my point is, and she's over there. My point is, yeah. Did and you guys you're, you're in your body, you're in your, you, this is your uniform, but this is who I am. I agree. I, run from. I agree. Okay. What else you want to say? Did you guys have an argument last night? No. Like you didn't argue about anything? I told you. I mean, some of she, 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 uh, you know, I'm in a pool, and, you know, when I'm listening to Cardi B or something like that. Okay. And she's, uh, I want to have sex. She says that at four. 4.45, I'm still in the pool. She comes out. So, let me go take a poop. Do my thing. Do my thing. You have a pool in your backyard? Yeah. About five. It'll take her five minutes. That's it. Five minutes. Ain't an hour. Five minutes. And I'm out. Ain't about all day. Huh? Just get on top. Do your thing. And take a shower. I go my way. Do you guys have rough sex? Sometimes. Last night, did you? Or yesterday? We always do. Okay. What's rough? Uh, anything, because she's she's tender. She's tender. Well, what do you mean? Like what? Just you said sometimes. Describe your version of rough. You want to really hear this? Yeah, it's kind of important. All right, hitting it from the back. You know, um, that's really it. Okay, but any like, any like, um, you know, any like rough stuff like she wants you to slap her or hit her you, she, she hits you um, um, right, sometimes she like me to slap her up she like that on her butt no so she just slap her face her face she likes that okay yeah and did I you yesterday every time every time she wants it did she want it yesterday um no okay no she didn't ask you to how do you know when she wants it she slap me she tells you to okay um, anything else like choking? Uh, I know there's a lot of that kind of stuff. No, no, I don't do that. Okay. What about her to you? Uh, well, you know what? Yeah, I might do this from the like, from the back. That's it. Okay. What's yeah. that around the neck, shoulders? What are you talking about? Shoulders, like the whole thing. Sometimes I might just grab a whole neck. Okay. That, like that. Okay. That's How do you know if you're squeezing too hard around her neck? I don't. I don't. It, I don't get off on that. I just get off on, you know. Her liking that type stuff. No, but I mean, how do you know? Like, so that you know that it doesn't I never get to that did, point. I like, never, accidentally, I'm saying. Oh, I never did it. I'm tender. That's supposed to be your wife. Okay. You know? That's your well, wife. Did, did you do that yesterday when you guys had sex? Yes. Okay. But it it wasn't like you know nothing crazy. You know, she. I never go like that. Okay. That's just crazy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did she confront you about anything? Was she mad at you about anything? She's always mad about a girl or mad about something, you know? It's never, I don't know. What was she mad about yesterday? She's a smart female, man. She's very smart, you know? What was she mad about yesterday? She's just, you know, if I, she see me texting, she's like, what you doing? You're not texting girls, are you? I'm like, no, I ain't texting nobody. You're not worried about that. And that's what, yesterday? That's like every day. That's our language. No, I know, but I want to focus on what happened yesterday, oh. man. What, what was yesterday? What was her deal That's yesterday? That's language. When I'm talking to you, it's because I'm in the... I'm getting here. When I'm free, I'm free. I get to say what I want. I get to do what I want. It's my world. 
So that's our that's our language. That's how our health get down. If you around somebody like this, and I'm looking at you, I'm giving you life when you look at me in the eye. It's you gotta you allowing me to 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 be that vessel because every man is like Jesus. You allowing my body to be used as a vessel. I just want to know that's what she was mad about yesterday. All right, I mean, she always mad about something, but like I said, she's a smart woman. She don't. She always want to keep my attention. So what did her. she do yesterday? What did she tell you yesterday? Physically with her mouth, what did she say yesterday? She's just like, you better not be texting those girls. Okay, and then what? What did you say back? I said cool. I and that was it. That. Was yeah. that before the sex or after the sex? That's before and after sometimes. Yesterday. Yeah, I go well, in the yesterday. bathroom. I, leave, I I got my phone in the bathroom. I come out the bathroom. What she says is, you texting them girls? You better be texting them girls. Okay, cool. I ain't texting nobody. Okay. So you guys had this conversation before and after sex yesterday? Yeah, I listened to her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Um. So, we got to find this Mark dude, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, and, and I tell you, cause I got, I get y'all number. I'm gonna have him set up. I'm gonna have him come back to the house. I think Miss Phillips wanted to know if we need more time. Maybe she could bring the phone over. What do you think? Um, I'm gonna bring him to the house. Was she gonna take some photos over here? She wanted to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can do um, that whenever you. You want to just let her know whatever because we can take a break too and just get that. Yeah, I texted her that we need a little bit more time, but that was like maybe four or five minutes ago. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna send him to the house. How about that? Um, I was gonna ask you. Hold on, hold on a second. So, you know, fingerprints like when you touch something, you have fingerprints on it, right? Mm hmm. And same for DNA, like your DNA from your skin, because we shed our skin, you know, we can get DNA from that, right? Um, you don't really um, say that you're involved in really like rough sex or anything like that, right? You mentioned yeah. hitting it from like the back, that. but yeah. you're just off on and touch her face. Right, and but nothing like excessive, nothing to harm oh. her. Or uh, we do some stuff that we don't even remember sometimes. That's the thing. We just we but not talk. things to harm her. Oh no no, not things to harm her, not things to harm me. So I don't throw up her. Right. Yeah. So the reason why I'm talking about the DNA and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. We have. Maybe you said you're an actor too, right? So uh, was, that's in the past. Was, 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 was. So you're into television, and a lot of what we do is shown on television through different movies, different mediums. You have cops. You have you know. Uh, GSI, CSI, 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 fire. Right. Yeah. So you, you probably understand what fingerprints, the, the potential that fingerprints could bring to an investigation to show that a person touched an item. Same thing with DNA mm -hmm. to show that they were at this particular location. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to me, yes, sir, why your DNA would be on a chunk of hair that's under the bathroom uh -huh. in uh -huh. your house yeah. that belongs okay. to her? Yes. How do you explain that? Okay, I'm gonna tell you why. Now, I'm in the bedroom. Now, you know the bedroom set up is the bathroom. It's the bedroom, it's the cats. I tell her all the time, stop combing your hair so much. You're breaking your hair off. I didn't marry you because you, you got, you want to shorten your hair. I married you because you have long, beautiful hair. Yes, I, I, she's tender headed as well. I try not to pull her hair while we have sex, but I just can't help it sometimes. But with that, she's combing her hair and she's like, babe, look. I'm like, well, this ain't a lot this time. You know, we, we she does that a lot. When she comb her hair and without wetting it, it comes out. So what I did was I put it on the sink. When she gave it to me in my hand, I put it on the sink and then I put it in the drawer. Cause I want her to remember, this is, we don't want to keep, you don't want to keep stressing your hair out. Stop, I told her, you take care of everything but your hair. Take care of your hair. I tell her that every day. I say, babe, take care of your hair. You don't got to worry about anything else. Just take care of your hair. You worried about everything else but taking care of your hair. So whenever that hair would come out, yes, does it cause an irritation to her head like it was yanked out? She Sometimes she's she watching TV, which we just got cable. We didn't have cable. Let me say this. We didn't have cable our whole 
relationship. We don't watch cable. We don't. She didn't even have a phone until like two or three weeks ago. So yeah, <laughs> that's something to think about. She's not having a phone. She's she's not having no phone for about three weeks. You know, I'm just giving her a phone because our connection, we had too many people involved in our life. We just needed to get away from that. I'm going to tell you right now. And we got away from that. And so while she's watching TV, she's combing her hair. And just like the F1 Savannah cat, scratches her and bites her sometimes. She tells me, like, Simba just bit me in the butt. And I say, you know, I say, Simba, you know, he's a, he's a wildlife animal. You know, I take him out the room. And that's what I do. I have three cats, or well, two cats, one dog. So she's combing her hair. She, you can even, you can even ask her. To no, comb. I get it. You I can get ask it. her to comb her she, hair. She combed the hair out, right? Yeah, yes, sir. She combed the hair out. So, which neighbor? Which neighbor has John's phone number? Bro, I literally would tell you if I knew. I would say this house right here. This is, you know what I mean? Just like the dirt you bikes. Out your phone, just bro. like the dirt bikes that ride around that's not street legal. They get on my nerves sometimes. It's a simple question, man. You talk yeah. to this neighbor. Mm -hmm. She called John. Mm -hmm. Which neighbor is it? I don't know. I, like I said, I just moved around here. I, is one Trump supporter across the street from me? I don't like Trump. Okay. That's the only one that I don't really is be it fond that, of. It's not that neighbor, then. It's not. Is it to the side of you? I only noticed two people since I moved here. So you don't, you don't know? No. But she knows John. Mm -mm. How she got his number? Oh, not Candace doesn't know John. No, your but neighbor. But she did. She knows John. Your neighbor. Your neighbor knows John. How does, how does she know John? Uh, her parents. Her parents. His parents, not her parents. His parents. You need to use the bathroom or anything? Mm, good. So you said where she lost her hair from, there's no irritation there, no redness or anything like that when she combs her hair? When she combs her hair, um, you know, like the loss of hair that you're talking about, the loss of hair that's she in combs the edges, the loss of hair that's in like where we just talked about. Yes, that's like, for a regular person, that'd be a lot of hair, but for her, that's just every day. That's every day for her. And irritation, yes, when you pull on her hair when we having sex. She like, babe, you gotta stop. You know what I mean? So you think like, there's an irritation to her hair or oh, hair now? Um, period. When I first met her, you know? So there's irritation to her head now from from her hair loss? No, no, no. It, it's irritation from like, you know, when we have sex and sometimes I pull her hair. You Did make, you pull her hair recently? I always do when we have sex, but I don't. It's like she said, you gotta be lightly. So I do it lightly. I don't do it where her head is bleeding or something like that but you know her not to the point where it would pull out no she pulls when she combs her hair she'll give me the hair and i'll just put it up somewhere i don't just throw it away i'm like you know african-american women they buy this type of hair you know you need to take care of your hair that's all i'm trying to answer all y'all questions that y'all want to know i know i appreciate it but yeah, so, we're, just, we're just trying to at least leave the room with some understanding, right? Of what you reported to us, because we have to. I didn't even going, get to make a report. We have to keep going back and forth. I didn't even get to make a report of anything. Y'all just, y'all said, put the suit on him. Y'all didn't even give me the chance to. You know, there's been people using a phone. You said allegedly she knows where I buried the phone as well. Maybe she said something to him. He probably buried that phone over blah blah blah. He probably using that damn phone. I told her where I buried it. Where? Yeah. You told her? Yeah, I told her. Where did you tell her you buried it? Um, right where I told you. Near the well, you didn't. You just told me it's around oh. there. How'd she find it? Well, there's a house right there. The first house. So if you're house. sitting down, you're talking to her, telling her where you buried it. I have to sit down and talk to her. Well, She's me. <laughs> That's my wife. You she lives told, in me. You she, I live with her. But then why did you have to tell her where you bury it? Because I, I'm honest. Like, babe, I don't want to find I know, you're I, telling me stuff like she's you. I don't have to sit down and tell yeah, her. Yeah, she's, she's... So she, why'd you tell her? Because I'm honest. Okay. I'm me. I, I do so, whatever I want. So what did you tell her? Where did I you say, bury babe, I uh, We was making a joke about something. We was drinking or having some champagne. She said, where your phone? I said, it's probably still over there at construction at the first house. 
But she right walked over there. So she. I seen. Yeah, we walked plenty of times past that, and she see where it was. That's why. I, that's why I buried the phone. Okay. Well, we're gonna give you an opportunity to use the restroom if needed. It's up to you if you don't. But you know, just have a seat over there for us. Okay. We're gonna walk back over there for a few minutes. How long? How long you think this? Hopefully not too long. Take your take your water. You got, say, 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 look, y'all got the video. Y'all gonna take the video. We still have work to do for sure. Yeah. So y'all gonna do y'all work and then let me be. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, we got work to do, so we're gonna have you sit over here. All right, y'all do y'all work, cause I'm trying to go home and feed these cats, so they don't get animal cruelty. I hear you. Please. Um. 